Where is Witcher 3? I've been waiting for someone to ask in chat. Finally, someone has asked in chat. Hold on, let me pull up YouTube. Oh no, that's not YouTube, that's Twitch. Damn, I keep getting those mixed up. All right, let's go. Let me pull it up. All right, I'm hitting the button. All right, here we go. Here we go. There, it's now live. It's published. There you go. Go watch the video. Enjoy. It's live. It's live. You're not seeing the video. Oh, keep refreshing. It'll be there. It'll be there. Just keep keep hitting F5. Infinite bait is literally on the screen. It's literally on the screen. Uh, in other news, I hold in my hands um, a copy of the PlayStation 4 game 13 Sentinels. And uh, a lot more anime than I expected. There's um, there's some girl in a Sailor Moon costume. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is this is a um, a used copy that was passed off as new because the plastic wrap around it wasn't as tight as it usually is on these games. It was kind of weird. And also when I looked at the bottom side of the disc, it looked like there was like a little bit of a smudge, maybe in a, even a couple scratches here and there, minor ones. So I think I I got um, I got ripped off. So I think it was uh, it was lightly used. Even though I asked for a new copy, and we paid for a new copy, and it's a uh, it's a bit used, so we'll see. It doesn't have it doesn't have new game smell. You know new game smell when you open. Does God of War Ragnarok box still have new game smell? Yeah, that has more of a new game smell. Oh, that's not in the case. Oh shit. Okay, don't know where that is. Um, yeah, it doesn't have new game smell. So I'm a little upset about that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we ordered burgers from a diner for lunch. It was my turn to pick what we ordered, so I ordered I ordered that. And uh, the after taking a bite of the burger, it was a little bit pink inside. And um, as I continued to eat it after that, uh, the, it was like m little pieces of it here and there were more and more pink. And then by the time I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that. I was already at the other side when it wasn't pink anymore, so I just finished it. So like, uh, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna be fine, but I just you don't want to give you that update about that. Um, if I do die from food poisoning, though, after saying it on stream, I do want everyone to say what kind of germa bit is this in the memorial. Please, please, you know, germa already did this. Even you know, I want that to be uh, the thing that goes down. NL food poisoning arc. D is that a thing that happened? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. It is. Not oh, oh, great. So even even when it comes to eating food, I copying fucking Northern Lion. All right, cool. Awesome. Awesome. And any unhinged thing that I do or say or, or joke about is something that Germa did. And because NL is also a dad, any any fun dad story I have is oh, oh NL already did that. Unless I specifically go for like the uh, the uh, multiple kid interaction, the wombo combo of of Finn Finn and Leo. You know, like Finn Finn came over and headbutted me right in the balls, and then as I hunched over to to to, to grab them in pain, Leo rushed over and said, "What's wrong, Daddy?" And then headbutted me in the face because he couldn't stop in time when he came over. You know, like like that, that's what I have to go to in order to have original stories around here. Hey, this is the famous YouTube guy. Not anymore. I don't think I'm. I was or all, only a, a, a crumb YouTube famous as it was, but no, not anymore. We'll see. We'll find out later in the year if I still have a career or not on YouTube. Anyway, let, let us do fan art and let's get back into Deadly Premonition. I'm sad because I really wanted to play it yesterday. Infinite Bait, national bestseller. I really love the, uh, the, the hook and the fish in the cloud here. Joseph Anderson with a forward by chat. Is that longer than like the, the forward ends around here, I'm guessing? What will you say when your children will watch your streams? They're not going to. That's not a thing that's going to happen. So, like, I don't have to worry about that. No, no, no parent has kids and the kids, like, find the parent's job cool no matter what the job is, okay? Like, there are, there are kids that have parents that work for NASA that are launching lock, rockets into the sky and the kid is like, who cares about your shitty ass rockets dad or, or mom? Or mom and dad, if they both are a power couple and they both work for a fucking NASA. Like, there's no, there's no way. No way. Raunching lock. Is that what I said? I thought I caught myself. Sorry. Minor enunciation mistake. Yeah, what the hell, chat? Is this the kind of fucking day it's gonna be? Do you think your Witcher 3 video development will make for a good documentary? Uh, it would have a lot of twists and turns in it, that's for sure, yeah. So mean. I know! It's so mean. Super mean. Oh, this is from Merrick. When he makes it out of here. Oh, it's Charlie Chan. When he makes it out of here, I wonder what will start unloading for- Oh, no! Me or the world. <gasps> First, there was an explosion. Oh, look at the perspective there. Clipping, like the no-clip explosion blast. Damn. Oh my god, Gordon. This is cra This crazy glitch teleport could take us anywhere, anytime, split us up. Isn't that exciting? And then cut off. Literally can't. <laughs> Aw, loading, loading. Aw. Oh, come on. Don't act like there could have been a happy end here. She knew. 
dummy, Baka. Oh, the train. Look at this, man. Look at this. No. By Merrick. How? No. <laughs> imagine, imagine not immediately getting this. <laughs> Imagine not being on on the Discord for one week of, of the year, like last year or the year before, I can't remember now, and not understanding this. <laughs> top, top trolley, the cute non-sentient object with the explosive po Oh, I see, good link there, good link, all right. And from Merrick, an explanation. Special thanks to Hideo Kojima. Pretend top trolley equals young breaker was a twist I planned from the start. Of course it was, Shimano, of course. I knew, and on the original top trolley art, there was a low uh, opacity text foreshadowing that top trolley equals purple dummy plus bomb. Cranked up the contrast here, so it's legible. <laughs> Her name was in quotation marks because she's actually breaker, or at least became breaker after absorbing the train powers. It's, it's a non-linear chan. The original breaker design featured a crowbar, so Half-Life 2 related. That's true. And the magenta black missing feet texture. Texture from source games like Half-Life 2. Oh, it all fits. Me, that's fucking gold. Merrick, JPH Mono. Merrick's timeline of events. Oh, here we go. Here is the timeline of events. Half-Life 2, introducing Trolley. Trolley, train absorbing power. Breaker, young. Fission via botch teleport. Bomb, young. Purple dummy, young. Are these different skins that you can download for your, for your Chan gotcha game? Time, play, Slay the Spire, introduce Bomb Chant, I remember that. Time, Votos, Purple Dummy, Dragon Angel comes into the voting game. <sighs> I made the voting game and I still have trouble like keeping it all in my head. Like I was there for the whole thing. <laughs> I still like, was that like a fever dream or what the fuck was? <laughs> Why is there lore? You weren't there for the voting game, man. <laughs> the voting game was insane. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> Botch Fusion, Dragon Angel, Breaker, Catherine introduce Undo, and Undo and Breaker fuse together to make speed run. Oh, bug Oh, I remember the, the speed run champ from uh, from Bug Snacks. Introduce Breaker and speed run. Nice, nice. Germa level voting game. That's true. It was kind of a Germa bit. I'm something of a Germa myself. There you go. Merrick's time and events. You might say, hey, wait, isn't this a long time to spend on? This is Merrick fan art here. We're all biased for it. Don't, don't lie to me. All right, let's go through it again. Amazing. Well done, Merrick. Is Merrick here? Well done, Merrick. Trolley Chan lives on. By Creator Chan K. Yes, I'm embracing it now. Let's go Chan War. Chan Wars? I was actually gonna post this. I made it for the thumbnail. The I stream highlights. Is <laughs> the Lily? <laughs> What? By C80625. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> 256. Say the numbers, Joe. You absolute animal. I do. Where on earth is he? <laughs> That's excellent. They're waiting for you, Gordon in their swimsuits very 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 nice i don't get it I, there's a um from persona 5 i think it was uh it was hifumi wasn't it i'll be waiting in my swimsuit and now whenever someone says it in a game i they're waiting for you or i'm waiting for you i, I add uh in in my swimsuit or in their swimsuit so they're waiting in their swimsuits there you go there's there's a joke there's a joke bwl bwl yeah i really like that that's really funny it's <laughs> <laughs> what? Something something even with context. Fun related, fun related fact, the prefix con is derived from the Latin preposition come. Thank you, Zestorin. Wow, that's so cool. I agree. Anyway, Joe, never offhand joke about effing cars again. How far are we into the video? You know what happens here. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Some of the some of this is Black Mesa. I thought we were chanifying the car from Deadly Premonition. No, we don't even need to go to Deadly Premonition for this one. This was a, a Black Mesa uh, May May last stream. I will not explain. I won't explain. If you don't, if you don't get this joke, uh, I'm envious. Actually, we're not. We're not going to. Uh, we're not going to be adding context. No. No, we're not. I love Forspoken. I hate Forspoken. It's a Billy Madison joke. <laughs> Why? 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 By Luna. Here, another one for all haters and lovers. Warning, lewd. And they were roommates. 
Why? People who love and hate Forspoken. All right. <laughs> thank, thank you, Luna. Oh. <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> so you just took this and ran with it, huh? Okay. Cool. Clonk. Okay. So I guess I do this now. Ooh. They're rare and, and somber. Okay. So I guess I do this now from uh, from Wrench Chan there. That's Crowbar. Yeah, that's Crowbar Chan. There you go. Oh, this is Pizza Tower by Paddle. Something, something. Hey, look at the imager title. It's so expressive. Great job, Paddle. Imager title. Oh, Pizza Tower. Yeah, Pizza Tower's up there. Special guy. I do recognize the, the pizza tower. The pe Oh no, it's be it's Pekoi off snow because it's pizza. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about pizza tower morphing with uh with our boy Bekoi over there. Special guest Joe enter the dragon stream. Nice. I'm guessing this is um in the style of the game. This definitely looks like in the style of the game there. Play. I don't want to though. If you make me, I'll play it. You know I will. You know I will. Thank you, paddle. Although I'm still resisting the pizza tower. I'm still resisting. <laughs> case, case in point. <laughs> case in <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, what, what's, what's this one? Is this Signalis? Because th those are the, uh, that was on the menu, right? Oh man. <laughs> that was excellent timing there. Bye Maddie. Pizza Tower, Signalis, and Hi-Fi Rush have all gotten more fan art than Life is Strange 2 and True Colors despite the number of streams each got. That's true! That's true! That just goes to show you how bad Life is, Stream, Life is Strange was. Life is Strange 2 and True Colors will go down in, in stream history as being the worst games that we finished. And the only other, other game that we never finished is Hello Neighbor. Excellent expressions there. Thank you, Maddie. Sting Skate. Sting Skate's not a game. How do, how do you just keep walking into it? How do you keep walking into a chat? It's not a game. Is this more more Pizza Tower? Neat, but I'm gonna need five more correct dialogue choices to play Pizza Tower. <laughs> there you go. Great. Oh, that would make a great cup actually. What if you had like like great mug on a on a mug? Oh man, I have so many merch ideas. I have so many merch ideas. Now that I uh, I now that I sent feet pics to to Top Lolly and I get I have jobs. The merch is just gonna like oh man. Oh man, great mug. I could do that. Great mug. It's the Sekiro to Elden to Signalis' Elden Ring. What? It has pizza. I do like pizza. Keep 13 Sentinels out of March. I do like keeping 13 Sentinels out of March. Better than Life is Strange shit. Nah, that 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 one that, that one's the wrong choice to do. A anything's better than than Life is Strange 2. But Max, almost anything is better than Life is Strange 2, even the game we're in right now. Oh, that's true. Signalis Hi-Fi Rush Pizza Tower. Mmm, hmm, Forspo- Yeah, Forspoken, eh? Yeah, let's go! Yeah, Forspoken. Forspoken Fridays on a Friday. Hey, I found it interesting. I watched part of it back. It wasn't that bad of a stream experience. It did get a little slow when we got into the open world. But even if, I felt like it was starting to drag even before we started running around. And then when I watched that part back, I was like, you know what? This is actually isn't too bad. The dialogue is moving. There's still stuff going on. I'll try and get through it as quickly as possible on Saturdays. It was pretty dull. Yeah, it was, but you know, like sometimes dull can be interesting in the, on a meta level of like figuring out how to gain how a game can fail. The voice lines were active. It's true. That's true. Who's this by? This is by Luna again. Thank you, Luna again. You gotta give it to Forspoken when she pointed at the jail door and it opened and she said, "Did I just do that?" That was a plus two. That was pretty funny. That was the one time in the whole entire thing that happened that the game was intentionally set up a joke, landed, was making fun of itself. That was pretty funny. What do you mean it wasn't? It was making fun of what it did earlier when it was like, did I just do that when she fought the fucking monster? That was pretty good. It was fun. Valve shit? There was that shit line too. That happened right after. Yeah, that tower scene was just a banger. That was where Forspoken peaked in, in the tower. Remember when they just glossed over completely how they got her in in shackles like they just did a hard cut and suddenly she's in shackles and even s she seems surprised by it like they just never ever address how that happened yeah <sighs> thank you luna <laughs> no. oh my god look at that expression man i wish we had a hundred emote slots god damn god damn 100 emote slots, please. 100 extra emote slots. Look at that. Very cute. Very cute. Thank you, uncredited artist champ. <laughs> 
Stop streaming the game. We have subscriptions for you to read. <laughs> what is this posse over here? You love Forspoken. You love Forspoken. Not even Anu could stop the Forspoken, okay? Not even. This is by K. I love drawing literally an entirely separate art style for each chance member. I love drawing literally an entirely separate art style for each chance member. This brings me back to the time when, uh, oh crap. This brings me back to the time when, uh, for some reason, everyone was just typing everything twice on, on, uh, on Jad's one night in Dragon's Den. Everyone was typing all their messages twice. So I showed up and posted the Banhammer animation twice. And the Chads, they just kept doing it for another five minutes. I was, I was sitting there going, like, how, 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 like, I'm trying to keep it funny. I'm trying to shut this down. I'm keeping it funny. Like, look, I'm in on the joke, but also cut the fuck, you know, cut the fucking shit out. And they were, they just kept doing it. And then eventually they stopped. So, you know, it didn't have to stop being funny. No. <laughs> how are you communicating such emotion with like these like relatively simple expressions in the back here it's just it's just like the eyes in a line and that's and that's it L look at the the disdain that is going on here oh it's my katamari damasi ball of uh, of money see we did play katamari Dem damasi after all last friday see it all makes sense don't we all feel better now there we go Thank you, Maddie. Something, something, Maddie and the gang derailed stream. Oh, it's a train reference too. The tracks, also a train reference. Thank you for the for the sub. <sighs> Mathiv Pinneth. Thank you for making me say it again, Maddie. Cash, cash, cash. Say the line, Joe. Joe, Joe in air quotes. You want me to really, really cook your noodle? At some point, at some point in the last, how many was it? At some point in the last, seven streams i have said my real name on stream i've said it have fun obsessive chatter have fun it's it's not zach my real name is not zach you, not it's not bait it's not bait it's not infinite bait <laughs> dragons with their horde it's like you know people with water you need it to live but too much will kill you too much of a horde and look at the result oh the broken wing this is a broken dragon holy shit uh, thank you, Maddie. What the fuck is Fort Fortnite Spore and Tekken up there? What the fuck is a Force Spoken? <laughs> I found the post by the way. Someone said that they posted uh, posted the thing on um, on the Force Spoken subreddit, and uh, and the top the top comment was Lamayo uh, about subbing to stop me from playing the game. And it just goes to show you that that no matter what is going on, if people get annoyed and feel like I'm just gonna say it because this is how far people take it with, with stupid shit. People will convince themselves that they're being oppressed for having an opinion on something or going through a relatively benign experience and they will start going to the levels of conspiracy. There were people in that thread saying stuff like, this just goes to show you that the hate is fake and fabricated and coordinated and Forspoken is being unfairly held down by the people. Like, like that, that sort of thing. Like it was insane. Like what? Where, where, pe where people will go to and like, like they'll, they'll entertain these wild conspiracies about things like you know, like a video game being being panned or you know a YouTube video not coming out yet or like, like why your sandwich didn't, didn't tasted weird this week compared to the one that you got last week. You know, like they'll go to like insane ends to to justify how their stance and their experience is is so valid and the world is wrong. The world is wrong overcooking <laughs> okay I like that overcooking the witcher 2 isn't burnt it's uh it's overcooked what the fuck is a force again another amazing expression i would like a thousand emote slots please no stop subbing for the love of all that is holy meanwhile in check what the fuck no no all right i'm not commenting on this anymore all right hold on Presenting that, but it's a story. What are you doing? The file is named Joe makes an offer the cat girls must refuse. This is exactly what was going on in Den. The one with the hat is unironically intended to be me. I feel like I feel like the community w has permanently shifted somewhere else after the piss course. Okay, I feel like I feel like we're in a, a new uncharted place. <laughs> Cripping the entire monitor. <laughs> Thank you, sister. By Jin Basil, Joe after getting all the subs from Forspoken Friday, now on Saturday. Oh, golden trolley upgraded. Oh man, the bling, the drip. Damn, 
fancy. The golden Bikoi chain. The, oh yeah, there's a co <laughs> Bikoi bling merch. Right? Could you imagine like, like going to a jeweler and saying, I want to manufacture this design and I want it to be like, like traditional material, tasteful craftsmanship, but you know, it's gotta look like this. Could you imagine? Would it be all gold and the feet hairs would be silver or would it be all silver and the feet hairs would be gold? That's what that's what the real question has to be, right? Silver with golden hair for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Jin Basil. Or some say Basil. Joe, can we go can we go back to reading subs by Zoe? My first stream fan art. Actual streamer chat dynamic. Joe is Freya who keeps getting pissed off by the demands of chat. Cuff insisting he should do something else. Really makes you feel like you're in forespoken. Joe, can we go back to reading subs? Apparently my, my attempt at British accent, which I used to just have naturally by the way, is permanently Rex from Xenoblade. Can I, can I even do like a posh English accent anymore? I don't think I can. Yusuke voice. Joe, can we go back to reading subs? Sure he's not good. Yeah, I know. I know it's not good. I should go back to Wales for uh, for two weeks and stream after that and just blow you all away with how quickly my accent comes back. I do wonder, actually, because I move so much, I wonder, is it just those two accents? Because within two weeks, I shift back, like, really fast. When I move back to Wales, my accent comes back fast, even if I go back to, like, on, on a holiday. Although I haven't been back in almost 20 years, so maybe maybe that was just a, a, a recency thing. I don't know if it would still work. But when I, and then when I went back to Canada after living in Britain again for for years, um, my Canadian accent came back really fast too. And I wonder would it would that happen anywhere? Because I tend to I tend to mimic mannerisms quite a bit, like subconsciously. And I wonder if I would do that anywhere I go if I would pick up accents really quickly. I wonder if I'm really impressionable in that way. That's crazy, especially since one of your kids is a Finnish accent. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Zoe. FBI. Oh, we're finally in the deadly premonition fan art. Here we go. FBI special agent. Joe, Jork, Jork Morgan, Thurston. Oh man. Weave. Orb said I'm a weave. Orb said I'm a weave. I looked for a, a magic eight ball, by the way, and I couldn't find one that that would speak. I only did like like one. One quick Amazon search though, so I should uh, probably do a little bit more. That is, he introduces himself kind of like, um, kind of like how we made Phoenix introduce himself. I'm a lawyer and Ace Attorney. Actually, come to think of it, I wonder if I was like, like morbing in on a on a thing there that I wasn't really aware of when I did that bit in uh, in Ace Attorney. I'm a lawyer. I'm an FBI agent. By Sam, press E to profile. What? <laughs> what would the dynamic be? What? It were? Yeah, what was that fucking Tom and Jerry bit? Do do Zoomers even know what Tom and Jerry is now? Cause that was a uh, like like Tom and Jerry was huge when I was a kid. That was that was a big thing. Do Zoomers know about Tom and Jerry? Yes, yes, of course. What do you mean yes? Question mark. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a Zoomer. Are your kids? No, my my kids don't know who Tom and Jerry is. But my kids aren't Zoomers. My kids are are even below Zoomers. They're Doomers. They don't know Tom and Jerry. Even my six-year-old sister knows what the fuck. Jo really? Huh. Skill it. Maybe it's a skill issue. Skill issue is the hot new meme, by the way. Everyone's saying skill issue. What would it work? Divorce, tension, funny cat and mouse. What would their parents think? Gay <laughs> or is Jerry girl? That's so blunt. Mm. Interspecies relationship bigotry. What? Codependent. Me hope not. Me want them happy. I think about this a lot, Saxa. I'm gay. I'm gay. Um. <laughs> Do you remember when the the Tom and Jerry movie came out and they could talk and it was just completely unacceptable? They justified it in the weird anime bullshit too, where when it said something like, "You can talk, you can talk too." How why didn't you ever say anything? Well, you never asked. It was awful. I can't believe they made them talk. I do. Yeah, I was so upset. When did that movie come out? 2021? There was a 2021 Tom and Jerry movie? I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about one that came out in like 1992. There you go. That one. That's the one we want. 1992 Tom and Jerry movie. They made them talk. It was awful. I didn't know they were still making Tom and Jerry stuff. By Sam. Did Silent Hill 2 have a discussion about the possible relationship with the Tom and Jerry to introduce us to the main character? Didn't think so. Exactly. It, so far, Deadly Permission does what Silent Hill 2 don't. I'm telling you, man. Jerry Pog, Jerry Pog, Jerry Pog, Jerry Pog, Somni Yum, Somni. <laughs> 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 
by GG this team. It's like the opposite of a speed run. <laughs> hey, we we it got us through it, man. It got us through it. Oh, update for that. I I switched us over through DP fix, um, to full screen wi borderless window. Uh, so so that's what we're doing, and hopefully that will prevent further crashes like that. We're on borderless window, but full screen mode now, uh, through DP fix. And I launched it and it was fine. It looked a little bad though. I'm not sure if it did. that's just how the game looked and I forgot, but yeah, that's it. This is excellent. Very much uh, what happened actually. Very uh, historically accurate. File name, who needs pizza tower with speed like this? True, true. Who's this by? This is by Luna again. Thank you, Luna again. Hey mob, when are, no, his name's not mob. Is it mob psycho? I thought it was like about like someone who's in the mob and they're a psycho. But no, it's it's about a guy named Mob and he's a psych it's a nickname? It's What do you mean question marks? Why would why would your initial What do you mean? I'm not insane for this. Why would my why would why would your initial thought and in the intuitive thought you would expect everyone to have would be that the guy is named Mob? Instead, it would be like mob movies and mob media is really popular. Wouldn't you? Th wouldn't you immediately think he's a high school? So how the fuck am I supposed to know that? I haven't fucking seen it. If you don't know anything about it and you think it's mo it's just like hey, there's this media called Mob Psycho, you would think oh, it's about the mob going psycho or someone in the mob who is a psycho, like or or it's someone who psychoanalyzes the mob, like it would be mob related. Insane. How? 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 It would be called Yakuza Psycho Kamanjo. Maybe it's one of those Westabu things. Maybe it's the like Kojima influenced, and it's someone who who loves shit from from the West, and it's based in New York, even though they all eat ramen all the time. I don't know. Very same thing. Thank you, thank you, Chatter. I agree with me, you you agreeing with me. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that like it's it's a bad thing that it's not based on that. Like whatever. Now that I know that, I will adjust my expectations to even lower than they were already. You know, now, especially now that I know he's in high school. Oh my god. You know what? You're right, chat. I should have remembered that it's it was an anime. So, of course, he's in fucking high school. Because how the fuck couldn't he be? Next, you're going to tell me One Punch Man is in high school, too. He's he's in his last year of high school. And he's in it for fucking seven seasons. Never does quite graduate. He, he is? What do you mean he is? One Punch Man. I swear to god. On a super continent version of Earth that has four moons, powerful monsters and villains wreak havoc. The millionaire Agoni creates the Hero Association, which employs superheroes to fight evil. Saitama, an associated hero, hails from City Z and performs heroic deeds as a hobby. For three years, he is trained enough to defeat any enemy with a single punch. His unmatched strength leaving him bored. He becomes a reluctant mentor to Genos, a cyborg seeking revenge against another cyborg who killed his family and destroyed. <laughs> revenge against another cyborg who killed his cyborg family and destroyed his hometown and Saitama defeats a, a monster. Okay, it's not telling me if he's in high school or not. Okay. It's surprisingly good. Yeah, I heard it's surprisingly good. It's, it's probably good. He's okay. He's, he's 20 or something. Okay, so he's in college. Still, still somehow in school. Is he a teacher in high school? At any time in an episode, does he go into a high school? Is is there, does he regularly attend a high school in some capacity? Does he work in a high school? No, he's unemployed. He's unemployed. Okay, so he's putting the neat in Nietzsche is what is what I'm hearing. Okay, okay, all right, cool. All right, so I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Luna, that that your 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 fan art got uh got derailed here. Um, hey, mob, really? He's his name is mob. When we are done with this hospital, let's hit the ramen shop, master. Look. <laughs> he moves like you. Okay, is this the, is there someone in Mob Psycho that does this shit? Is this, this your sibling? No way. We're almost there. I am so close. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't backseat me now, Zach. Ooh, ooh. I don't want to deal with this with this uh, nuthead. Let's go. True, true. I would not mess with uh with uh, Joe on his bullshit in the game there. Mob is a nickname. Why does that matter? What does that matter? Joe's a nickname. People still call me it. Who cares? It's still what it's still that doesn't fucking obliterate the point of like I thought it was about the mob. Fruit never expires. I thought we were gonna get through this before before an hour and then and then this happened. Can't believe that the first time I draw fan art of Mob Psycho 100, it's for Joe. I hate myself for that. Will Joe even understand this joke? I kind of get it from Osmosis, I think. As someone on Discord said, he won't, but he'll get it when Mob Psycho wins the marble race. Mob Psycho is not winning the marble race. No way. 
No way. End of fan art. End of fan art. End of transmission. All right, we, we did get through it. We did get through it. It will? It won't. It won't. It won't. Marble? Someone had a marble? Oh, man. All right, telephone ghost. Telephone ghost. I am marking this as complete. At me with your anime choice. Telephone ghost. FLCL. What's that? FLCL. All right, it's a really short name. That bodes really well for how good it is. The shorter the anime, the shorter the name, the better the anime. That is the rule. Okay. Fooly Cooly. The first season of Fooly Cooly is a coming of age story. Oh, I wonder if they're in fucking high school. And revolves around Naota Nandaba, a 12 year old working class boy living with his widow father and, and grandfather. His life in the city of Mabase is interrupted by the arrival of a Vespa riding maniac named Haruko Haruhara. She runs over now. Is this a spoiler? Now Tua then revives him with CPR before hitting him in the head with her left hand electric bass guitar. A blue vintage Rickenbacker 4001 and proceeds to stalk him. What? What? What, what is this? Joe, it's good. Is it? I'm uncomfortable just from the from the first half of the first par the first half of the first paragraph of the plot synopsis. Stop reading, Joe. Oh, I want to. Thank you. Thank you for the permission. I'm, I want to. I want to stop reading. It's nonsense. Overrated. <laughs> Imagine, imagine being so deep into anime bullshit that not, not only do you just understand everything I just said, but you're sitting there, arms crossed, tongue in the side of your cheek, overrated. Like, what, what are you? Big, big vibes when we were talking about fucking Steins Gate, and I said big Dengen Rampa vibes, and someone said in the chat, this was first. <laughs> So angry. Oh man. All right, Kira. What, what, what? Why are you just adding me, Akira? What? What? What do you think this is? Just, just at me with anime hour? What? What the hell is it? Why are you just adding me? Who's just sitting in chat, just saying Akira? Akira is where they sell furniture, isn't it? Akira, it's mid, is it? It's like signalis of anime. All right, let's let's start the game. Let's start the game. I heard it is a classic. I do like that shot of the motorcycle. That's all I know about Akira. Oh, maybe I know something else about Akira. Is Akira the one where it has like this this beautifully detailed animation of a of a gun being cocked? Cause uh, cause that that's pretty baller as well. That looked pretty good. No, yes, motorcycle shot. Yeah, everyone knows about the motorcycle shot. That's Evangelion, right? Isn't Evangelion in the Akira series? Isn't it like the first one's Evangelion colon Akira, and then it's Evangelion next one's colon Neon Genesis Evangelion? No. So easy. So easy. Oh my god, so easy. You can't say so easy when 9% of chat is LLUing. LLUing. Sorry, LULing and understanding the joke. That's just try. Whoa, why are you taking this so seriously with a name called Poop Feast 420? How'd you pick that name? And you're like in the middle of the salt mines, like a snail being forced down there on your shift. Like, what the hell? Maybe I am also in on the joke reversal. Like, come on. Anyway, all right, here we go. We are starting. We are loading the game. There's a cursor stuck on... Okay, what if I hit enter? Will it go away? Do you guys see it or no? Do you guys see the cursor just floating in the middle of the screen there or no? You do? You do see it? It's all right. This is how it is. Do you think it's going to go away when you when we load in? Previously Doo -doo -doo -doo. during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another <laughs> town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to the green room. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's He's so quiet. in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? Do you feel it, Zach? I coughed and warned me about it. Okay, I think we're gonna have to restart. Already like I don't know why, I just I just love the fake recap that's just completely unhinged. We are an insane person. The, the music is so Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to stop. Okay, I can't alt tab out. So is this game supposed to be serious or funny? Yes. Joe, if the cutscenes crash constantly, you'll be forced to use the four gigabyte patch. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Okay. What? What? What is this four gigabyte patch stand defense force that's forming? Like, if we have to do it, I'll do it. You don't have to convince me anymore. Like, if I have to do it, I'll do it. I don't understand. Like, what is this foreboding? Good. Gonna have to use that patch eventually, Joe. Joe, that four gigabyte patch is waiting for you in the future. Like, there are save corrupting cash uh, crashes. How do I back up my saves? All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> four gigabyte Chan. 
Do, the body was do, found in the Greenvale Forest Park. Do, That's west do, from here, and too far to walk. Putting the thick in USB stick. It's the pride of the town. Pride of the town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet do, Falls. That do, does sound fantastic. Do, do, do. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. Okay, so does the game look as... I better get something to eat soon, Jack. Does the game look as like it did... Like last time, because I felt like it looked a little weird on full screen mode, but maybe it's fine. It looks fine. Okay. All right. Uh, let's eat something. Let's eat a lollipop. Okay. So I want to eat the lollipop. Recovers a little bit of hunger. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's way more than a little bit. Holy crap. Should we eat some pickles? Let's eat some pickles right in front of the, the, the crew. Oh, man. Oh, man. We love pickles. Let's get some pickle negitos in the chat because, you know, there's no other time that pickles really come up. Anna's body was found by two children, six-year-old twins. Please be gentle with them, Agent York. I mean, it was also found, they were also found by the farmer 10 seconds later. So I don't think we have to talk to the kids, right? That's not a thing we have to do. We don't have to put six-year-old kids through talking to an FBI agent who's clearly insane, right? What's that over there? Let's head over to the Force Park then. You're in charge now. All right. What's, what's that? Agent Morgan, why do you want to go back there? If you don't intend to come with us, then we'll go on ahead. Go ahead, I'll go with you. Okay, I'll go with you. I just have something I want to do, but I'll do it later. I'll go with you. Okay, so are we going to be, like, off, let off the, the chain at some point so we can do whatever we want? Well, if that's the case, then get in the car and let's get going. Because I want to I wanna do, I want to hear the conversations with this, but I also, yeah, we are. Okay, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Let's go. All right, wind wipers on. Agent Morgan, if I could just give you a friendly warning. Friendly. Are you really upset about me taking over the case? Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, he's got a bigger I have the face scar than we do on the same side. To Is he command. just us in the future? I understand you don't like it, but you will follow my order. I'm not disputing FBI authority. You are, though. But this is our town. You won't get far alone, and you gain nothing by antagonizing me. It's part of my personality. I just do things my way. I can take you off the case if you wish. Stop it, oh, you two. Oh, man. The we dominance. We need to solve this case, not bicker among ourselves. Hmm... <laughs> the smile. I thought we would have been like talking with potential waifu over there more than George. I, I like the uh, the subversion here. All right, sorry, wipers on. All right, here we go. All right, where are we going? We're going to the red, I'm guessing. All right. All right, break through this fence, clearly. What's with the music? Oh, that worked. Anna's body was discovered by the woodsman, Jim Green along with his two grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. What were they doing in the forest? Just their daily routine. They found Anna's body during a morning walk. So you've talked to them already? Not officially. Not yet. Not yet? Are you out of your mind? You haven't interviewed them yet? Agent York, that tone is hardly appropriate. Yeah. We were given orders to wait for you to arrive. Orders by who? A man called Abrams from the FBI. Oh, Robert Abrams. Good old Bob Abrams. Oh, we're here. I did tell him to stay out of it. It's always tough to have a meddling boss, huh, Zach? I thought you knew, Agent well, Morgan. Don't worry about it. We may not have taken official statements, but we got all the information we need. I can fill you in right now if you'd like. Thanks, George, but that won't be necessary. I want to hear the details from the witnesses themselves, firsthand. I just can't <laughs> believe that the children had to witness the crime scene. They may be traumatized. You'd better do this carefully. Don't tell me you get nervous talking to children, Emily. Not at all. That's that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Ugh, just forget it. Okay, so is this this is the the finish line? That's what it says. This is where we're meant to go. We walk the rest of the way, or? Oh. <laughs> Don't wanna be an American idiot. <laughs> that is it, is it? Is it? No, we missed it! Alright, where to next? Don't wanna be in a. It, it's an American idiot for sure! What the hell is this? How'd they get away with this? Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't like, turn the music down here. All right, are we gonna make it? I think we're gonna make it. Oh, we made it, great. All right, we did it. What did we get for that? Ooh. 
A bird's nest? Why did it show the, the bird's nest? What's that over there now? Is there something there we can go get? Oh yeah, that was on, was that on the map before? But shoot it, shoot the bird's nest? Okay, I don't know where to go. We probably have to leave the, ho the, the hotel, the hospital. This is where we came in, right? So we have to drive back. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, we go, we go this way. Oh. Agent Morgan, how much longer do you want to keep talk? Maybe we should cut the chit chat and go get our official statements. George is right. Let's head over to the forest park. Oh, I'm coming. Can you turn the wind wiper, windshield wipers on? Yeah, but why would I want to do that? Okay. Oh, there's a bridge. How, how big is this place? All right, whoa, 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 whoa. I think we go that way. I think we go that way. For sure we go. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Third person camera, please. is not Okay, if it's nauseating, we can switch over to the third person camera. This is worse. How is this better? This is actually, it is, isn't it? Okay, that way? No. No, we go this way. Velvet Falls. Okay, this is definitely the right way. All right, definitely the right way. What happens if we run out of gas, like, with them in the car? Whoa, 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 why does it turn like that? I'm getting a little nauseous, holy crap. Joe, your turn signals. Yeah, and the wipers are on too, so it's by design. I wanna get all the features out of the car, you know? I don't get to drive police car very often, I wanna get the full experience. Me and York, man, we're just like this. He's taking over me, I'm the New York. Oh, we made it, we made it! Aw, oh, first try. Is this government land? No, it's private. Owned by Harry. This whole area? Oh, the music cut out. That's Damn. right. I'm sure I mentioned that he owns pretty much the whole town. He used the money left by his father to buy up most of the town. Many town residents live on his land. Zach, did you hear that? This entire park. A rich man's personal playground. These country rich folk are amazing. It all looks very well kept, too. Well, that's the tree. I'm FBI well, Special found Rachel Agent Amber. Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. <laughs> it's what everyone calls me. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Jim Green, Forest Park Warden. Well, you're doing a fine job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And what? these two discovered the body. Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. D they don't need their own. They, d they don't? They don't? Th they do. Okay. All right. Zach, you see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. We got to keep an eye on these two. Oh, I'm he sorry. remembers that. Can we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Very well. Emily, please. I'll just take them over there then. Thank you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. <laughs> these children were the first to witness the what? crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come York! On. They're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to what us. What is this pose? That doesn't matter. We have a Pokemon battle? You agree with me, right, Zach? No, I don't. Oh, I don't agree with you at all. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Emily's right. That's stone cold. Even for the sake of investigation. Children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot. And they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. Oh my god. Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at my slide. Standing so upright there. Kojima thought that was fire. Now then, Isaac, Isaiah, tell me. What did you find here? Anna, she was so pretty. She had a oh, red yeah. dress on. Her hair was shining. Bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrels, weasels, and a snake. A real snake. We didn't know until then. But we know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah. She was a fairy, a goddess. What? I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, of course. Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Cool, thank you. I'm starting to think that York doesn't know that he's insane. What is the sky okay, doing? Zach, this is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub, our unknown subject, was here too. <laughs> unsub? So, what happened here? That's what's gonna happen next uh, next Saturday. 
the great unsubbing for Force Pokemon. Was that a no smoking sign on his lighter that he used to light his cigarette? Okay, chat. I feel like something didn't get enough attention because we ended the stream right after. So he just blacks out and shoots zombies. What? What? Did Emily and George see York doing during the section that we were shooting zombies in the hospital? Because I'm really confused about that. How often? Do, how often does he crash his car? You saying you don't usually only at bedtime? Maybe it's just it's just gameplay. Who cares? Dude needs to cut his nails. What are you doing? Start profiling. She did it to herself. Wait, why do you have two cigarettes? Why do you have two cigarettes? <laughs> Zach, something is still missing. <laughs> we need more clues. Oh, we Iron Man our jacket on. Why does he have two cigarettes? I feel like we're going to be shooting some people right now. Where'd our cigarette go? Or sorry, cigarettes. Where'd they go? Oh, there's something over here. Ah. Oh, that's terrifying. So she was a maid? She was a maid for Harry? I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. Wait, is it this? Oh, this is infinite spawning pickles. Oh, man. How many cans of pickles do you think you could get stacked on top of each other before they fell? But only only one. You can't you can't like make a house of cards. It has to be just like one single cylinder tower. How many do you think you get? Ten? You think ten? I think I think ten is ten is doable. I think anything over twenty is is pretty ambitious. Is it true that pregnant women like pickles? Um, I've heard that there's is it is it potassium or something in it makes makes uh, pregnant women they have a need for it and they crave pickles. Lily did not crave pickles. Lily was very um, supplement filled throughout her pregnancies based and supplement pill so uh yeah she uh, she did it i don't know if that's the right way to do it but yeah she did okay i i'm guessing i can just have infinite amounts of uh pickles so that's uh i'm done maybe it's magnesium maybe it's not potassium maybe it's one of the other eums why is there a dog bone on the map why, why are we up here after we're done searching do we have to come up here to a good vantage point and profile oh there's something right there what's that Ship with rusted metal. Okay, that that red is important. Let's go talk to everyone first. We clearly need this. So if I if I run out of time right now, do I have to come back here again and do all the cutscenes again, or would it skip me here? Observe. If I need some, this game is so weird with all the different systems that didn't need to exist. It's quite a serious character, though he likes to show off and is too eager to compete, which may be what it takes. As you requested, we have permission to stay and look around as needed. But what are you planning on doing? To examine the scene, of course. Basic Crime Investigation 101. We might uncover some further evidence. My men have covered this already. I seriously doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car if that's the case. But I'll take my time here. There's no limit to time right now. I think you're good. Really? I can I can go sleep and it won't take time? That seems like it will. I don't want to risk it. A missing piece of pin heel shoe. Broken stiletto heel tip. I can't believe anyone would want to wear such things into the woods. Start profiling. One guy incoming. Well, it's the one guy who who like wanted me to play the game. So <laughs> it seems like a legitimate one guy to me. Wait, hold on. She's dead already in the background. And she's upset about the heel? Did she not see it? Zach, look. The depression on the grass. I think we have a clue. You got two bent pieces of grass. What? Start profiling. Is 
Isn't that the guy that we were trying to shoot in the in the Somnium? And it was so beloved in the town that even the murderer started crying after he killed her. A picture in a place like this. What? I'm starting to think I should just uh, profile when we got them all instead of doing this one by one. Yoshi, why do you come over, want to be petted, and then when I put my, my hand on you... You lurch up and put all of your weight on my arm, trying to break my shoulder. Why, why do you do this? Why do you do this? You're a big boy. You're not as big as fat speed, but you're a big boy, buddy. Like, you can't do that, okay? I kind of want to sleep. I, I kind of want to see if I will get... It, it, it might be free sleep. Chip with rusted metal dust. <gasps> the rain stopped. And her jacket's off. Nice. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti-peace sentiment then. These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. Slid open her stomach, but you know what's really disgusting? Theory. A man Don't wearing woman's shoes. Uh, what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. Joel? We really ought to introduce George to him, Zach. Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. Yeah. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Yeah, they're both works of fiction. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Furthermore, there would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. Oh! Oh! Oh, he you're was overcooking! for a reason other than simple perversion. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't realize that's what he was cooking Zach, there. Zach, what was he doing in front of Anna? Just like the twins said, she was a goddess. The unsung, this game has two music subject, tracks. Offered prayers to Anna's body, its bitten out tongue, massive body wound. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? Oh, the steps are designer. close coming up to the body and then farther apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. She could be another victim who was with Anna. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. She might know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. Can't wait to continue calling her Miss Stiletto Heels even after you find How many real women name. wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, God, oh all of them. I should think most of them have at least one pair. Yeah, exactly. 
do do I do, 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 do. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Who's that? Tell me right now. What the hell's that? Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Oh, it's an ashtray. Oh. Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. So it couldn't have been her, then. Then we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. Wait, what? What do you mean? A more immediate matter, then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore. With Who the fuck is a poor lash? She probably got it from the car. Metal machinery or something like that. The, the old, old lumber, lumber mill. mill. Oh, the old lumber mill. Some cars have pop out ashtrays. I really get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? Do, do, do. So hold on. So the art gallery woman saw this, then went home, and then left town before they found the body, and then is coming back now. How long has the body been here for? A couple days? I don't. I'm, I'm not understanding the timeline right now. Like to me, it, that should have been a okay. It couldn't have been her then, but apparently not. So I guess that is exactly what happened. This game is really just a perfect representation of a can't be, a can't be B movie. So someone in the chat said they expected David Cage, David Cage uh, writing, and it said it's Yakuza. Let me propose to you a hot take. It is David Cage to your writing, but translating it from weeb into English and having the translation also need to have a new voice actor lends itself the chance for the translators and the performer to fix a lot of the cagenessness. So what David Cage needs to do from now on is write the original drafts in another language and then the translators and the actors will fix it going forward there we go that's all we have to do i've said it before if david cage was uh Lumber was mill is pretty far was Jap here. With japanese you if would love it what the fuck is this tie doing why would the killer go to all the trouble of carrying her all the way here i don't know yet my profiling instincts what? tell me one thing is for sure though the unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime the unsub killed her in a brutal horrifying way <laughs> and then displays powerful adoration after she's dead Something close to love. That could well be the key do, do, to all do. this. Big Witcher vibes. Do, 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 I will say this though, George. Profiling is a risky business. We don't of have course, any gas. if the unsub planted those stiletto footprints himself, well then, everything I've just said falls apart. But there's no evidence that he left those stiletto <laughs> footprints. I'm sure we have Miss Stiletto Heels to thank for those tracks. All I can do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the evidence. And carefully figure the unsub's M.O. Modus operandi. His way of thinking. It usually unveils something that a normal forensic analysis may overlook. That's my way of profiling. It's not for everyone, but it works for me. This this is like coming across as some guy who like really, really would like to just be an FBI agent for like a case and have some fun and just wrote himself into like, oh, what would it be like if I was an FBI agent for here I go. This is how I would act and here's what I would do and I would drop all this shit. Like, it's... Wait, we have we have uh, we have infinite gas and, and durability right now. Do we have infinite time? 15, 16. Dude, what is the noise? Why does that noise keep happening? What's this? Closed? I can come back. Oh, 15. Oh, we don't have extra. We don't have infinite time. Go, 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 go. What's the yellow? When I first joined the force, this lumber mill was still in full swing. It closed up right when I first moved here. And now it's totally abandoned. I presume so. I've never really been inside, so I don't know for sure, but sure is run down. Deserted buildings are perfect for criminal hideouts and activities. I keep telling Harry to have the place torn down. Probably a good thing for that. After all, it's already been used as the site of Anna's murder. We don't know that for sure yet, Agent Morgan. But that's right. But the perpetrator selected the lumber. Agent York, you seem very confident about this. Confident? No. Confidence is a sweet spot between being rude and hopeless. I'm just drawing natural conclusions from the facts that we've seen. That sounds exactly like being full of confidence, at least to me. And to normal people with common sense. Common sense can be the opposite of facts. Common sense sometimes. sounds like confidence. Bear that in mind. Oh, I will, Agent York. Thank oh. you for another pearl of wisdom. Oh, God, are we Either way, we'll know for sure by simply going to the lumber mill. So keep your pearls of wisdom to yourself, and let's hurry. Well said, George. Can you step on it, Agent York? Whoa, what the hell's that? Will you step on it? I've been, like, going over the speed with the whole time. What the hell's this? What's this tunnel? 
How big is this game? Oh crap! I feel like we're going the wrong way. What's what's? I feel like we're going the wrong way. What's the orange? Is the or oh, I feel like we're going we're going back. We're going back. Oh crap! All right. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. We actually are gonna have to check the map. I would like to zoom out. Zoom out. Page. Page. Oh, we already were zoomed out the max. All right. Cool. What's that? All right. What's the what's the orange? Go fishing. I can't. I'm in a main quest section. And some of the one guys in chat told me that I could, uh... Oh, that's that's going back to get the card that we can get from shooting that bird's nest that we did from the racing game that had American Idiot, but the copyright version. Okay, cool. Everything in that sentence I just said is 100% true. All right, so we have to go up here. All right, so we're going up here. All right, so we, we, I went the wrong ass way. All right, so we were... Okay, so before we went up here... Oh, I see where we have to go. I know where we have to go. I, I, I know exactly where we have to go. Oh, where are my manners? The atmosphere in here, huh? Damn. Do the wind do the windshield wipers actually work? <gasps> they do! Oh man. Anyone else when you were a kid and you, and, and you were driving a long distance? What's that on the map there? Uh, on the screen there. When you were driving a long distance and you were a kid and you were sitting in the back seat and uh, it was raining and like um, when your parents was driving and you would like look at the windshield wipers like streaking the, the water droplets over the window and you would like keep track of like the really gigantic like collections of droplets that were forming on the edges of where the windshield wipers were like were moving and you would like wait for it to finally get enough water to be pulled down like whoa like that was, was so much fun choose to and watch the race yeah alone you two stay here i can't concentrate on profiling with other people around <laughs> yeah that's now, true hold on a minute we're investigating this case together together and i can't risk the crime scene being compromised by you two what are you saying you're not the only professional law enforcement officer here, Agent Morgan. We know how to secure a crime scene. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. But this is how I operate. Furthermore... Yes? Furthermore what? To me, the outsider FBI agent, every citizen of this town is a suspect. The outsider FBI agent? on this whole thing for all I know. I what? have to keep suspects out of oh, the crime scene. Oh, I get it. How can you say such a thing? Is he making fun of us? Oh. We should have left him behind and come here by ourselves. You're right. I've never been so insulted. I'm sorry, but I'm just doing my job. York's a dick. All right, time to go shooting. Did you hear that, Zach? If they're pros, then we should let every first-person shooter gamer out there join the SWAT team. <laughs> Zach, they're here. The lumber mill entrance had to wrap, our, wrap up our investigation first, right, Zach? All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hasn't crashed again since, though, right? Wait, we haven't saved it in a while. Is there a save in here? Zach, I would like to save. Please let me save. I love these things so much. You get a secret cutscene by doing this with a gamepad. All right, we'll get it then because I'm using a gamepad. What are the gun noises? What, you, what is your doing? That's a good question, actually. What if we die? Oh, we, we did die. You just have to reload, right? So like, it just there's no context for death or anything. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, good good thing there's nothing flammable in here in the lumber mill. They weren't red. How was I supposed to know they would explode? We've already died inside just by watching this game. We mean this game's a banger so far. Joe, I got soft locked in one of the door on one of the doors here, so I recommend not to not to run in any of them, just to be careful. All right, but I want to have solidarity with with you and your experience. Oh, it's the axe guy. Do you have infinite ammo just by default thought, for this gun? Zach, yes. This is where Anna was killed. Yeah, is this even real right now, though? Like, is that a giant sword? Is that what they used to cut her open her stomach? Yeah, we're smoking in here. Yep, let's contaminate the crime scene. It's not a real cigarette, though. Start profiling. Ooh. It was a sultry sac sacrifice. Is 
Is York actually supposed to have psychic power? No, he's profiling. This is what all FBI agents can do. Haven't you seen any media ever? They constantly make wild deduct uh, deductive punches and leaps, and they all end up being right. The only movie that doesn't do that is Zodiac. Which is an interesting but uh, the double secret again, which is an interesting but very frustrating three hours of a movie. Too much noise. Yep. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Mm hmm. The best Fincher film, probably. Really? Really? Do The music. Zodiac was pretty good. Do you think that's the best Fincher movie? Some kind of machinery all covered up. I can't see inside, judging from all the dust that hasn't even touched for ages. Like, obviously, I love, I love Fight Club, but like, Gone Girl is above it. And um, the girl with the dragon tattoo is amazing as well. So amazing they didn't get to make a second one. But you know, let's not dwell on that. No, what? Have you, wait, hold on, have you seen Gone Girl? Gone Girl is so much better than Zodiac. Are you insane? Did not like Gone Girl myself. Did you watch it? I can't believe, Submachine Gun. I can't believe in this day and age of the, of the internet, I have to ask when people dislike something, did you watch it? <laughs> Zach, it's almost like an altar. Yeah. Was the murder some kind of ritual? People sleep on Alien 3. Did Fincher do Alien 3? I don't remember Alien 3. When I was a teenager, me and my group of friends did a an Aliens movie marathon um, that we uh, that that we made the girls in the group sit through in exchange for watching Grease and Dirty Dancing and some other movie that I can't remember. Um, this was the trade that we did, and I I'm pretty sure like I like either snuck off with one of the girls before Alien 3 started or I fell asleep. One of one of those two. I don't think I saw Alien 4 much of Alien 4 either. I had a very cool uh, teenage years, let me tell you. Recycled story. I don't remember telling the story on stream before, did I? Humble humble brag. Having a, like a girlfriend when you're a teenager is not a humble brag, it's normal. No one's humble bragging. Not for most of you must have. Like if you didn't, I wouldn't I wouldn't go the other way. I wouldn't call it like abnormal. I'm just saying it's not it's not exceptional. It's not like like worthy of bragging material. Oh hold on, I have to run through it. Do you want to pick it up? It's up to you, Zach. I do want to pick it. I want to save. I want to save. Where are you hiding? Uh oh. <gasps> oh no! It's anti peace. You got reverse peace sign. You peace profiling. Yes. Whoa! What the. F Okay, I don't want to profile the other ones. This goes on for ages. Okay, I'd like to save it now, please. There we go. <gasps> yes! Shaving! If I don't shave, do I actually get a beard? Fight Club is worse than Seven and Gone Girl. What are you, fuck are you talking about? Fight Club is one of the greatest movies ever made. It's in the top of IMBD 100, and we all know we can trust that. What the fuck are you talking about? Suitcase. It's starting to look like it's getting dirty. Oh man, does that matter? Oh, we can sleep. Let's sleep. I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little sleepy. All right, light sleep. Oh, we can. We can. There's no time limit here. We can sleep as long as we want. <laughs> oh no, I'm hungry. Oh shit, I made a huge mistake. I wasn't even that tired. What was that? Smoked salmon. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take a, a plate of smoked salmon that I just found in this rusty ass locker. Yeah, why not? I watched all the Fincher movies with my high school girlfriend. Wow, look at this humble bragger in chat right now. Wow. Wow. Why couldn't you have just said, I watched all of the, the Fincher movies? Why'd you have to add that in? Wow. Okay, that's not a moderate amount of hunger. That's all of my hunger. Oh, infinite lollipops. All right, so infinite lollipops are there in case you get hungry. So, the, so they, they put in a food and sleep system, and then 
they made it so there's infinite beds and infinite food around to satisfy those meters so you can never get stuck in a place, therefore nullifying the need for the food and sleep system that they still included in the game for some reason. Okay, looks like a key box is unlocked. Should we open it? Yes. Take item. Oh no, is this because I slept? Amazing, 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 amazing. I watched On Girl and I fucking hated it from a moral standpoint. What do you mean? What do you mean? First of all, you're supposed to. That's the intended reaction. So you're saying you loved it. But even if you did or didn't, that doesn't matter. Did you enjoy the movie? Gone Girl has one of the most hardcore villains of all time. Gone Girl's villain is amazing. Now that said, there are a couple of missteps in both the movie and the book when it comes to, you know, the uh, act act two, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, I, I would I would say act two. Act two is a little bit of eh, but you know, for, for the most part, it's pretty great. Neil Patrick, yeah, pretty, pretty much everything to do with Neil Patrick Harris is kind of like, what are we doing? But I understand why it's there. Like it was necessary, but at the same time, like how we get there is kind of, yeah. You know what we should do? I should start a podcast where, where I, I have someone on and we talk about a movie, and we'll do a movie podcast. Amazing. Because I don't, I like talking about Amazing. movies. Who should I do it with? Who should I do a movie podcast with? Revolution idea. It's it, it's never been done. It's never been done. Northland. Northland doesn't know who I am. It's not gonna be with Northland. Do it with your movie. So okay, e even if you would do it with me. I would just shut the fuck up. Why would I why would I go in and be like, okay, literal one of the biggest movie critics on the platform on YouTube, I'm gonna disagree with you. Like what what the fuck are you talking about? Looks like we'll find the engineering section through the store. It won't budge. Better look for the key. We found the key already. Is that an infinite steel pipe dispenser over there? Just because Adam's popular doesn't mean he's always right. Yeah, absolutely true. But he has more authority from a movie judging standpoint than I do. And that would, like, I would be acutely aware of that the whole time. <laughs> it's rusted all over. It won't budge without a good whacking. All right, let's whack it. Any tools handy, Zach? Oh, that's why we have unlimited steel pipe. I see. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck did we just... Joe, Germa, and Ella on a podcast. Oh man, I would be the smallest for, the smallest fish on that podcast. Nothing would ever get done. It would just be chaos the whole time. Are you kidding? Every single week we would never get past the introduction of the names because we would all pretend to be the other person's name or something. Like, like this is the voice of Joe, said, said Germa. No idea what this machinery is for. We could climb over it though. We would get through, we would finally get to the movie discussion and we would talk about it for an hour and at the end of it, Jerma would reveal he never even watched the fucking movie and he was just like riffing off of what me and Northern Line were saying the whole time. A huge upside down piece mark's been drawn on the steam deck, a steam, a steam, a steam engine tank, any idea what it means? <laughs> just referencing movies that don't exist the whole time. Why is there a baby crying? Just, just all the horror tropes. Let's just have a baby crying now. Okay, cool. Push. Why would I want to push them? I don't understand why. Why is why am okay? Can we stop? Why would I ever be in a position where I would want to push a box in this game? Excuse me. Keep pushing it. What? So I can no clip above the hole out of bounds? Like it's it's if I keep pushing, it's gonna it's gonna break. It would be faster to shoot it. That sounds like the fart sound from Hypnospace. Oh, it broke. Okay, cool. Why can't I open it? Why can't I? Is it because the box is in the way? Someone said they disagree with most of your movie sucks opinions, and that's fine. They, like he can still have a, a tremendous amount of value to you as a, as a critic. Like, uh, especially if it is true that you almost always always disagree. Then if he ever says that he hated a movie, then you would love it, right? Like you don't have to agree with um, a critic at all, or or disagree with them necessarily either to to get any value out of their their observations. Why can't I open this? Is this is this broken? Because I pushed the thing. Have you played Shipbreaker? I think you would like it. I have played Heart Space Shipbreaker. And my hot take that I said on stream once was that it needs more ships. I think I played it for a couple hours. I really liked how, how committed to the bit they were with like the, the life uh, you have on the ship and everything. I wish you could. they had even more about that. Um, but I felt like they were. I was already seeing too much of repetition between the ships uh, and the, what you needed to do that I was getting a bit bored. But I did enjoy uh, what I played. Okay, this feels like it's the way. 
No, I'm good. That seems like the way for sure. Let's go the other way first. Yeah, it's not gonna let us through. Have you seen the new Starfield trailer? I have not, no. It's locked, but there's no keyhole. Looks like there's locks on the other side. Okay. I support the movie podcast if only because then you'd finally watch Ari Aster movies. Is that the um, the horror movies? Because if that is the case and I do it with Mandalore, not saying he'd be down by the way, just, you know, spitballing, then we talk about a horror movie and he would just dunk on me for my Silent Hill 2 takes the whole time. And that would be fun for you and him, but it wouldn't be fun for me. It's a full of murky water, a sickly brackish red color. Flush. Yes, let's flush the toilet. That's really gross. All right, nice texture there. Would you agree that Shipbreaker kind of pulls some of his punches in terms of its themes? I didn't get that far enough to, to say that or not. I think I know what kind of themes you're talking about because it was already kind of starting to build um, at the point that I was at, but I didn't go far enough to see, sorry, so I can't answer yes, yes. or no. My guess is that uh, it wants to... Um, I don't want to say because it might be spoilers, but yeah, I, I, I'm gonna guess that it doesn't have the, it didn't have like the budget and scope to to really explore that as well as they, they it needed to. Let's put it that way. Now it's open. You'd say they pulled some punches they didn't need to. Okay, well, that's that's very fair criticism if that's true then. But I didn't get that far, unfortunately. Did you know this that this game was really originally supposed to be set in Canada? Really? Huh? And we'd be a Mountie? I'd play it. Shipbreaker and Citizen Sleeper were almost complimentary. I enjoyed Citizen Sleeper, but it, it felt more like a proof of concept or... Uh, no, proof of concept isn't fair. It felt more like a bare bones version of a game that would have a lot more attention and budget that I would really like to play. I guess that's the way. I like I enjoyed it, but it was more of a conceptual kind of thing. Can't get through this rubble. We'll have to find another way. But it was a full experience. It's not like it's like, oh, like we didn't make a full game. You know what I mean? Citizen Sleeper, more like Resident Sleeper, am I right? Ha 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 Oh, Crowbar Chan. Nice. In Citizen Sleeper, the gameplay features felt, mo felt mostly like they were there to justify... Okay, I, I can't, I can't scroll up because I can't all type out the game, sorry. Can you repost your comment? Or I can, like, just assume what it was. Something about how the gameplay features were just added on to, to pad out game time or to justify it more as a game experience rather than just a visual novel kind of thing. Um, I would agree there. Um, I think it was um, Jake uh, Geller's video that went into that um he had it on one of his top 10 lists for the year i think and he said how he had to make some really tough decisions about the game and that was not my experience whatsoever my experience was that i i like very early on i had pretty much infinite resources of everything i wanted to do i never had to make any tough decisions like it was really 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 easy when it came to that and i don't know if it was because of the difficulty mode or the character i picked or if i just got lucky on the rolls like it, it was like it was absurdly easy very early on maybe i just got lucky with what path i picked to, in order to get um to get some resources um, well, yeah very humble brag i'm just a god god of games clearly he says to his chat that relentlessly criticizes him for na aim among other things said a word wrong earlier by the way peak oh this is peak all right oh this looks like a boss room can i go back and save it he's a writer but he doesn't know a word point left in chat i don't even think i qualify as being a writer anymore don't do much of that anymore if you count like non-fiction writing then yeah i guess you could but when people say they're a writer usually they mean fiction right Looks very interesting. The baby's crying inside. Looks like we could open it. Gearbox. Looks like normal. Looks like normal gearbox. Looks like normal gearbox. Whatever this is for. Without it, it probably won't work. I'd love for you to play Pen Pentiment. Honestly, extremely well written. Like better than Disco Elysium or close to Disco Elysium. Like how how are we uh, how are we how are we thinking? Will you ever return to write? I hope so. I'm doing some writing for the game, but that we're making, but it's not. A very story heavy game so there's not that much of it compared to like some of the books i wrote amazing Great. did you ever read catch 22 sequel closing time no i'm afraid that it's gonna be bad oh this wasn't a boss room it was just an enemy arena i'm afraid well i don't think it's gonna be bad but I, i'm afraid that i'm not gonna like it that much and it might like ruin some of the mystique of catch 22 for me so i'm a little hesitant to uh to read it i heard it's well of course it's gonna be worse there's no way it can be better than cash 22 cash 22 is a fucking banger i haven't heard bad things about it but i have heard it's worse than cash 22. i think the only game i played with comparable writing quality to, to disco elysium was pathologic 2. really pathologic 2 is that good of a writing really do you enjoy joyce's books um nothing here of interest to me i've only finished 
Portia the Artist as a Young Man. And I enjoyed it, but I was really young, so I don't know if I enjoyed it for the right reasons. It's full of murky water, a sickly brackish red color. Oh, same thing. Okay, here we go. Young. Did you get the flush all the toilet ending? The flush all the toilets ending is my favorite. This is like a prison cell. What? This is a lumber mill? This is like a prison. What is all these like toilets in a row shitting in cubicles? What the? F Witcher 3 has great writing too. Does it though? Does it? Does it though? Does it? Not played Disco Elysium myself, but from a lot of accounts, people who played both Pentiments is very close to the Disco Elysium in terms of writing. Oh, that's cool. There's a quality to Disco Elysium's writing that, that is very hard to explain. Um, if you're an avid reader, then then I think that... Uh, this game has a little bit too. But if you're an avid reader, I think you'll understand it. Um, is that when you read something by a very strong author, you get a real f strong feeling of their voice and how their how their wit and their mind works and you almost can 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 see them a bit in in their work now there are exceptions to this there's some authors that are still very very good and they're just like they're like the voice of god you know what i mean like nothing comes through at all and you can still really enjoy it um but like i prefer the other style generally speaking um disco elysium feels that way where you could you can feel like like the wit and the personality of the person who or, or even the team if it was a team it's even more impressive but i'm guessing it's it's mostly uh, one voice that wrote most of the stuff in there. Um, you can feel that come through. And it, it adds, for, for lack of a better term, but this is with the meme answer, so it makes sense. It adds a, a lot of soul to the writing that uh, a lot of a lot of um, video game writing lacks. It's very soulless. And that's why I think people like this game, particularly because this game has, has that same kind of quality in the soul of, of the presentation of, of the character. Um, and I feel like you need the, the creative confidence but also the the i don't know if it, it would be clout in the in in the, the dev team i don't know like you need the person who's doing that needs to have the complete and utter capability to just take over the project and just be like no fuck it we're doing this because i need to do this because this is where the story has to go this is what the writing has to say this is what the voice has to be boom we're doing it and that's just not present in almost every single game including witcher 3 but it is present in disco elysium i feel like the whoever whoever however disco elysium was produced there was a lot of freedom in terms of rewriting and reproducing things and order and also just the indulgence to just go off on a tangent riff as much as you want and because of that the writing is really 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 high quality like it, i'm i'm not exaggerating whenever it comes up because i think some people may, may think it's a joke disco elysium is easily number one best written game full stop full stop number one like nothing comes close to it that i've uh that i've played um like and it's because of that quality what is number two i don't even know what number two would be that doesn't mean that there aren't stories that can come close or story like experiences that can come close like outer wilds is another game that we relentlessly jerk off around here um and i would say that the story experience of outer wilds is, is very very strong and and is very unique to uh to the medium but i wouldn't say that that outer wilds has incredible writing it's just an incredible experience as a game more than than the words on the screen and the you know maybe the voice performances of them Elsa Minimum Files, obviously, as a as a comedy game. This comedy is so hard, and it deserves more credit. How about Planescape Torment? Um, I haven't played Planescape Torment since I was like 19 years old, so I don't really remember Planescape Torment all that much. I would like to say that it's up there, too. I remember it very fondly, but I remember Baldur's Gate 2 fondly, too, and when I went back and, and saw a little bit of Baldur's Gate 2, uh, I almost gagged. Uh, no, it wasn't that bad, but, you know, uh, it was not as good as I remember it being, let's put it that way. What about New Vegas and Red Dead? Haven't played enough of Red Dead. I only played Red Dead Redemption 2. I haven't played Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 1 at all. And Red Dead Redemption 2, that's so hard for me to say. I only did that one stream of it, so I barely saw it. Um, New Vegas has pretty good writing, yeah. New Vegas is definitely in the uh, in the upper tier of video game writing. But even there, it's like it, it still doesn't have that same kind of quality that uh, that Disco Elysium has when it comes to the the writer being able to to flex. Best video game writing is Ghost Trick. No content, got no contest. Can't wait to play it on on uh, stream when it comes out on Steam. And it's not as good as everyone says. Just another overhyped weeb game, he says. A catwalk connected to the elevator hall. Looks like we can climb over it. What the hell is this texture here? <laughs> All right, let's put the gears in. A motor for the elevator, but it doesn't seem to be working. There's a recess for some for fitting something, maybe? Gearbox. Portal 2 is actually up there, no? Yeah, Portal 2 has good writing, yeah. Especially as a comedy game. I feel like Portal 2, 
Man, I really enjoy... Por I can't remember now what I said at the end of the Portal 2 stream that we did. I remember thinking, and I don't know if I still remember, still think this way now because it's so hard to keep track of all my thoughts because I'm insane. Uh, it's <laughs> I'm not like other boys. I used to think that Portal 2 is too long and it drags a little bit more than its source ma than its material really allows for where Portal 1 is like the perfect length. Did I say the same thing at the end of Portal 2 stream that although I, st I do prefer Portal 2 to Portal 1 still, I know that's for sure, but did I say at the end of the Portal 2 stream it does drag a little bit during during the cave johnson section sections i think it's just i don't know maybe half an hour too long there's, there's somewhere in in portal 2 there's a there's a point where i'd be like yeah they could have cut a little bit out of this wheatley voice actor is so on point steven merchant yeah he does a pretty good job portal 1 has better comedy writing than 2 Ooh. portal 1 definitely has more dark comedy writing than portal 2 portal portal 1 is like actually brutal whereas portal 2 it gets a little bit sanitized in the in the sequel transition like in portal 2 i feel like the player is in on the joke now and in portal 1 no <laughs> you know does that make sense like portal 2 is more is closer to a cartoon kind of thing that's going on whereas portal 1 is like no this is this is not a joke you know like it's like this is serious shit and i think that's more impressive in a way all right so this is the way we're, we can go but we can go explore this area first and see what's over here <laughs> Do you think soul and writing can backfire though? Kojima and Suda get there for me at times. Okay, so who's Suda again? Kojima, okay, so Kojima is one I go back and forth on. I really, I really, I'm really happy Kojima, Kojima's stuff exists, but it, it can get pretty batshit at times and it's like kind of grown worthy. And, but I'm still, I'm, I still support it and I wish we had more of it. Suda's the guy behind Killer7. I haven't played Killer7, so I don't, that, that's on the voted list. I don't know how we're playing that game, chat. I was looking into to buying all the games that we need to play ahead of us, and I don't know how we're doing that one. Gonna have to be an emulator Andy, maybe. It's on, oh, it's on Steam, is it really? Oh, okay, never mind then. That was easy. I just assumed it was on console, and I was looking for a console version. Okay, cool. All right, problem solved. Thank you, chat. State Bentley's Metal Gear Solid 4 video tackles the is Kojima a good writer question really well, I thought. I think that the Metal Gear Solid games and Death Stranding definitely do have moments that contain good writing. Whether or not those are from Kojima is, is up in the air. Metal Gear Solid 2, and we'll see it when we play it, the ending of Metal Gear Solid 2 is terrifyingly good like if you don't know what happens at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2 you are in for a treat when we get there because you have to remember when that came out like you are gonna get like actual literal chills when when we get to that point because you'll be like what the fuck this came out in what year what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck but did Kojima did Kojima write that <laughs> you know like I don't know like it's it's hard to know like maybe not you know like in the same game there's like you know she really is Lady Luck so who knows sounds like there's something tangled up somewhere Huh? <laughs> what, what are we doing? <laughs> we doing Switch or PlayStation for 13 Sentinels? We're doing PlayStation. I have it in front of me. PlayStation 4, 13 Sentinels. Here, I'm shaking it. You can hear it right now. You got damaged red hair. All right. So we're going to profile evidence based on this. All right. So what is he really doing in here? I shouldn't have hit E. Is this going to be another one of those the the killer was into BDSM uh, mysteries? Thank you, Rick JPEG, for the new sub. Welcome, Rick JPEG. Thank you, actual Jana Bananas, nice name, for the resub. Thank you, Cantiash, for the resub as well. And thank you, Hagtus, for the resub. As a 13 Sentinels fan, I can't wait to see it for the first time. Oh, you're not alone. You're not alone. Did you play Peace Walker? I have not played Peace Walker, no. I've played Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, and, one, two, three, and 4. I've, that's the only ones I've played. Oh, and Revengeance. And a little bit of Survive. Are you playing Peace Walker as well or just number titles? I haven't decided yet. I'm resistant to playing Peace Walker because I do not give a shit about Big Boss. Big Boss is one of the most boring characters in all of video games. I don't give a fuck about Big Boss. 
surprise Q&A stream. Yeah, it just goes to show you the shooting parts of this game aren't that great. Once we get back into the actual meat of the game, I'm sure the Q&A will stop. Looks like the power is out. We'll need to restore power to move this elevator, Zach. Oh, we can save it. Nice. Um, so I have an absolute killer headache, chat. I didn't know that until I started walking up the stairs. So uh, apologies if I start being a little quiet. Will you be playing Metal Gear, Metal Gear 1 and 2 for Metal Gear Solid 1? Uh, see, I'm, I'm really tempted because I've always wanted to play them. But I never have. And I hear they're really short. So they might be fun for like quick stream, one-off streams. I hear Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear, Metal Gear 1 is a whole load of nothing. But Metal Gear 2 actually has some something to it. And they should be just one stream, one stream each. How would I get them? I think uh, Metal Gear is on good old games. What about Metal Gear 2? Is that on there as well? Or are they on um, Virtual Console for Switch? You played every single Half-Life game. You got to play every single Metal Gear. I am not playing Metal Gear Survive. I, I'm not someone who hates that game. I think the game could be serviceable if you love survival games, but I'm not I'm not streaming that. I'm not putting myself through that. I am not opening myself up to, to chat chat's wrath on that. And also we already played Revengeance. It's not that bad. I agree it's not that bad, but chat's wrath will, will, will be that bad. Absolutely. What about Metal Gear Acid? What about Metal Gear Acid? Um, I don't know how to get the handheld games. I don't know. Again, I really don't have any interest in, in anything that about Metal Gear that doesn't have Solid Snake in it. Great. Amazing. Do people actually like Big Boss as a character? Joe, you've already streamed the emulators. No, I haven't. What are you talking about? I've never streamed with an emulator in my life. Joseph, totally not on an emulator Anderson. That's my stream name. There are no handprints around the part where the doorknob should be. A somewhat weird design, it seems. Yeah, this is um, this is just amazing. All right. We need to find the doorknob. Master key. With this master key, you can drive around the patrol, patrol cars in town. Oh, the fishing rod. Just slot it in and turn it. Okay, never mind. Metal Gear Solid HD collection that holds Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 has the original Metal Gear 1 and 2 as well as Peace Walker 1 package. That's how I played the original Metal Gears anyway. Oh, is there? What's that on? Is that on PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4? If I can get that, that, that would be good. Oh, look at the hands around. This is very Death Stranding. What the hell? So this and Death Stranding are both like paying homage to the same kind of thing. And by paying homage, I mean ripping something off. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, fuck all. Okay, I'm gonna have to dust off the PlayStation 3 then and hope the Elgato, old Elgato works on it. Why is the PlayStation 3 so fucking heavy chat what were they thinking elgato working well i have three of them now i could cycle through so one of them has to work blu-ray player the first generation blu-ray players were, were big and hefty were they because there's a little playstation one and playstation two inside of it that sounds wrong but i don't know enough about backwards compatibility to dispute it metal gear solid one and two are on pc i thought metal gear solid 2 was but then i looked it up and i think it's gone out off a of very platform now because of a licensing issue metal gear solid 1 is still on there i think that's on gog and steam i know it's definitely on gog but i think metal gear solid 2 is gone metal gear solid 2 is um it was was it substance or sustenance or whatever i think it's gone like my ringtones we'll probably get the the playstation 3 hd collection can't get through this rubble we'll have to find another way zach is that available on the online store for PlayStation 3, or am I gonna have to buy a, a physical copy of it, like at scalper prices? Play Twin Snakes, the best version of Metal Gear Solid. I think we're gonna play both because I have Twin Snakes. I might have one of the Metal Gear Solid games actually. Uh, sorry, I might have some of the early Metal Gear Solid games. I know I definitely have Metal Gear Solid uh, 3, 4, and Twin Snakes. I know I have um, hard copies of those. I don't know if I have Metal Gear Solid 2. I think I'm Metal Gear Solid 1 on PlayStation 1, but I can't stream that. There's no way that I can get that hooked up. Locked with a padlock, I should be able to break through this if I could hit it hard enough. Strip the entire Metal Gear Solid series on PlayStation 3. It's insane. Metal Gear Solid 5 came out on the PlayStation 3? What? Did it really? Oh, damn. All right, never mind. I thought hit meant it had to be a melee attack, but it didn't, obviously. All right, that's a Joe Mint right there. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take my Joe Mint. We own those, we own those. We also have to do all of the uh, virtual mission pack. Every single one of them. We're doing every single one. Do you think Black Mesa is, a good, is good to recommend to play instead of Half-Life 1 to a newcomer of the series? I do actually, yeah. I think you can start with Black Mesa. Uh-oh, why is there time limit? What, what's this? What's going on? Find a way out, seek a way out, escape room, Somnium, six minutes of Somnium. What are we doing? We shoot in the hands? Okay, I did it. I 
Are you playing the substance versions of 3 and 2 or the normal ones? Well, it's probably going to be whatever's in that HD collection on the PlayStation 3. Uh, but I think if the PlayStation 3 can run my copy of Metal Gear Solid 2, it might just be that one. Uh, that's that's the shitty version of, play, of Metal Gear Solid 3, though. I know it doesn't narrow it down because Metal Gear Solid 3 just sucks in general, but um, the one that uh, the camera in the original launch of Metal Gear Solid 3 was fucking terrible, so it doesn't have the behind the, the shoulder camera. Uh, I would like to play it with that one because I think it would be a lot better. Oh no! What the hell is this? He's in my mouth! I'm pressing A and D. I'm pressing A and D. I did it. Okay, what the fuck was that? Did it break? Oh my god, that was the real DP right there. Holy shit. Dude, why am I G-Joy pressing A and D? It was doing it! Oh, our aim is fucked up now. Oh man, let's heal. Predator, I wasn't in combat, so it's fine. I'm not in combat, it's allowed. Man, we still have Ko uh, Kawami to play too. We have so much shit to play. Holy fuck. And those fuckers, they just keep making new games. Game devs, man. Slow it down. We have enough games. I'm making one myself, by the way. The Audacity. Huh? No, I use Audacity to make videos, not games. Okay. Oh, now it works. Okay. Peeled off fake fingernail. Okay, if it's if it does profiling, I'm skipping it. I don't need to see it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing it. It goes on for way too long. Bad ending. What? Oh, do I have to I have to click on all the profiling? We already missed one though. Press escape during the cutscene to skip it all and just look at the mic. Oh, okay, that's 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 good. That's good. That's good. You do not. It's a joke. All right, all right. Thank you. Something popped up there. What was it? Observe. A valve for controlling the steam engine. It's worn and could crack quite easily. It might not be safe to touch it. Oh, okay. Does it ever stop? No. <laughs> Alright, what if I shoot them all? And tumble all three of them in a row. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is gonna be so good. The setup, here we go, setup. Boom, 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 boom. All right, here we go. Do, 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 oh, didn't turn the corner properly. All right, these ones will do though. Oh, I ran out. Lame. Right angle, HOC, that's true, that's true. <gasps> Jimin? Huh? Oh, he's helpful. Series of large mirrors looks foreboding in a place like this. Do you think people speedrun this game? Not only do they speedrun it, they stream it. Pyramid Head. Red Cloak Guy is way better than Pyramid Head. Come on. No contest. Nah, I actually can't meme about that. I think Pyramid, Pyramid Head's design is pretty cool. That's the one thing Silent Hill 2 does right. We're out of range, right? <laughs> coffee with milk? Who's leaving this coffee with milk around? Don't know if it's been fixed, but Metal Gear Solid 3 HD had massive slowdowns on my PlayStation 3. You may want to check out the Xbox 360 version. Oh boy. I don't think my Xbox 360 works anymore. I have children older than the last time that was turned on. But if we went this way, backwards. Yes, we got two. Oh, we didn't get two. We only got one. Never mind. Have you played other Silent Hill games? Uh, we played Silent Hill 1 and 2 on stream. And Silent Hill 2 was decent to good. Silent Hill 1 was kind of meh. Kind of like a, uh, a tech demo, really. It was all right. It definitely would have scared me if I had played that when it first came out, though. I would have found that very unsettling because I was really young back then. And horror games still scared me back then. I always wanted to play um, Silent Hill, I don't know what number it is, The Room. The idea of it, most of it, being taking place inside one room or a room you keep returning to seemed really interesting to me. Are you gonna play the new Silent Hill game by the Umineko guy? Nope. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Ah. Shit, I pressed D. Oh. God damn it! Why is it R this time? Oh. Do it does it on purpose. Okay, A and D. Yeah. 
same animation. Okay. Have you tried game streaming services? I only used for Path of Exile, my machine can't handle end game density. Uh, I have not, no. It's a neat idea. All right, so this is definitely the way, because that happens. Let's go the other way. Path of Exile with even more input lag sounds terrifying. That's the real horror game. Oh, this is powerful. But not infinite ammo. Oh, well. Why? This place is so unnecessarily large. I am confusion. Like, why would you do this? It's, this is going on forever. Actually, didn't felt any. It sounds unbelievable, but true. What do you mean you didn't feel any? E even locally run Path of Exile. <laughs> you mean you didn't feel any more than usual? <laughs> uh, I love Path of Exile, but that is like like a really shit game, man. Like, oh my god. I, I'm, I get it. Like, they, it's been stitched together. It's like we should all be grateful that it runs at all. But I'm worried the Path of Exile 2 is just going to be even more heaped onto that really bad foundation. I had a little. Maybe I was glad. Uh, I can run more than 20 FPS. Okay, that. Yeah, it's definitely the best case for you then. In, in your in your case, yeah. What's with all these rooms? I, I can, I'm actually lost. All right, we're back here. Okay, I know where we are. Have you played Sanctum, by the way? It was pretty good. Um, I played some of Sanctum. I stupidly did a Righteous Fire build, which was really, really bad for uh, for for Sanctum. Um, Sanctum, the response to Sanctum made me realize that uh, quite a lot of the, the Path of Exile YouTubers and, and streamers and the like um, actually really do shill for the game. And it kind of like was a glass shattering moment for me when they were dismissing a lot of the criticism people had for Sanctum as being like baseless. And it's like, oh, people were just really, really bad. And it's a skill issue, skill issue, skill issue. It's like, no, Sanctum was cool, but you know, it had some really big issues. Kind of like when one, when one of the curses adds a little a little bump to your character, like I don't know, I, I don't want to get into this because it's too much to explain. But if you've played Path of Exile, you know what I'm talking about. One of the one of the curses in Sanctum added a little knockback effect whenever you took damage in the Sanctum or whenever you took um, in Spire damage, whatever the fuck it was. The fact that that made it better to realize when you were even taking damage and it was a curse speaks volumes for how badly that was designed. Like I was happy when I got that curse because then at least I knew I was having, I, I would know when I was taking fucking damage because that game is just a visual fucking mess. God forbid it's like uh, if you are your character that's contributing to the mess too. But in concept, it was pretty cool. I like the Sanctum. Is Sanctum the PoE thing, or are you talking about the FPS power defense thing? Sanctum is the is the current league in Path of Exile, which is kind of like a roguelike sort of thing, where they made all of your defensive stats not matter, pretty much, which was another just wonderful bit of game design, considering how much of your shit has to be dedicated to uh, defense to survive outside of the Sanctum. Basically, the best way to play Sanctum was to have a dedicated Sanctum character, which, you know, isn't without its merit, but kind of was a waste of time for me, or too much for me. Your pot takes are... Do they really? I thought my pot takes were pretty good. What's bad about my take right now? How'd you have time for that game? Well, I played Sanctum, I think, for a week at launch, and that's it. That's all I played. But before I played, the most I ever played Path of Exile was when I can't even remember who it was. It, it was either Kate or Mila. It was one of the girls. When one of the girls was born, um, it had to have been Kate because the computer was upstairs for that. Uh, when Kate was born. And there was lots of looking after the baby time and making sure the baby is breathing time and just, you know, being with the baby while she's asleep time. I was playing some Path of Exile. There's a second girl. Yeah, we have two boys, two girls. How long does it usually take you to make it to maps? Uh, in Sanctum, I actually got to maps without dying. I think it took me... I think it took me eight hours. That was the first time I ever got to maps without dying. I think it was eight hours. So not bad. That's pretty fast, I think, for, for a casual player. I'm pretty casual. White noise on the TV. Who turned it on, I wonder? Hide. Why are we hiding? Can, probably can hide here, but we better stay still, Zach. What are we hiding for? I was also uh, SSF, because I really like SSF. If you're bored of Path of Exile, I highly recommend SSF, because for two reasons. One, the fact that you can't trade means that you don't waste a lot of time sending trade messages to people that don't fucking answer you because you can you can lose so much time to just constantly being like i want to buy this and i just like like hey i want to buy it no answer hey i want to buy this no answer hey i want to buy this no answer because the trade system in in, in path of fucking sucks and secondly and this is the biggest reason to do it if even if you've played the game a lot um there are so many systems and mechanics in path of exile that i just never had to learn or engage with at all because i could just trade my my, my cares away and playing ssf really made me evaluate all the different league mechanics that are still in the game of and and really learn them and i really enjoyed that system so uh, I, I recommend SSF if you are, are a little tired of the game. Have you played Warframe? I have not played Warframe, no. And you know I play SSF because I told you. Because that's how you always know. 
Don't worry, they'll tell you. A circuit breaker used to control the flow of electricity. The elevator should be back up and running. Okay. About glass shattering moment, heard about the Tarkov wiggle cheat video. I have, yeah, I talked about it on stream before. Yeah. I'm convinced that Hunt Showdown has the same problem. I've actually heard it said that um, a lot of people, when they get cheats for the games, they will try it out in Hunt Showdown first before they go over to a game like Tarkov. The phone's ringing again. Let's try to trace the call this time, Zach. Uh oh. I see you. It's hard to do in Hunt Showdown because you can actually check people's POV after after you die. Yeah, but it's not really a replay, and I'm not sure how exactly accurate that POV switch is. But there's been plenty of times where someone has killed me, and I've looked at their perspective, and I'm like, yeah, there's no fucking way. Okay, clearly what we have to do here is hide, right? I'm hiding. Very, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Go out. Why is it vibing? Okay, I had to time the E-press to when it was appearing on, on the screen there. Wait, was that the Zero Escape Heartbeat? He's here again. Let's hide quickly if we don't want any problems. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna shoot him. I'm just gonna shoot him. What, what, what the hell? What the hell is this? What's this top? Let's try the bottom right window. What, 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 what what's this? <laughs> investigation failure. Oh no! The investigation continue. Yeah, but I saved it. Why would you put me back to after a save? About cheats, Valorant's invasive anti-cheat block most of Tarkov cheats. Would you be okay with invasive anti-cheats like that for Hunt? Um, I don't know how invasive you're talking. Like, if it violates my privacy, then then no. I don't see how that could be, but, you know. It runs all the time, basically. Even when the game is not on? Oh, okay, fuck that then, no. I see you. Absolutely not. Is that gonna happen again? What is this? Alright, let's hide. Hide. All right, we're hiding. Do 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 Oh, he's coming. Observe. Wait, why are we seeing from his eyes? I can't leave now. Oh, he's coming. He knows exactly where we are. Wait, do the wiggle. He's got ESP on. Do the wiggle. Zach. Wait, what? I held my breath. Where are you hiding? Oh, someone's holding their breath. I can sense it. <sighs> I kind of want to see what happens if he catches me in the uh, in there, but I also don't want to. I also don't want to reload. <sighs> dude, 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 dude! Poor games are so scary. Oh, the music. Dude. Do, 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 fake out there. This is so dumb. Where are you? Can I go out? Last one. Here we go. Hold your breath. Wait. He just spawns the axes like we spawn cigarettes? What? Wait, is it the Leviathan axe? Did he just recall it? What do you do? Why does our stamina keep going up while we're in here? What if it gets the max? What happens? Do I die? What happens? I don't die, please. I don't, it's not- What do you mean it's not moving? There's no way I die. There's no way we're gonna have to do- Okay, please tell me if I die, because I don't want to do it again. Dead for sure? You'll die? Do you really want to find- I really do want to find out. I really don't want to find out. Do you want to risk redoing that? I'm, I'm really scared, actually. I'm scared. You don't? You don't? How many people have done this? How do you know? There's no way we die. You don't die. I've played the game a thousand times. This is all you've played since it's come out. You just you just on on loop. You're a looper for, for getting DP'd. All right. Here we go. Okay. Nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. Okay, cool. Are you on your way to finish another 20 hour game in, in uh, sorry, turn another 20 hour game into 80 hours? Hey, I'm streaming, man. Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. Yeah. 
Waste of time, let's go. Let's go sleep. Wait, is the axe gone? Oh, he really did recall it. Okay, why... Did we just come here just to turn the elevator on? Oh, no! Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? Push, 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 push. No, run around it. What are you doing? Oh, he's watching. What is he doing with that bo- <laughs> What the fuck was that? Oh no, run. <laughs> push, push, push. Go, evade, evade. <laughs> run. run. Climb up, climb up. No, the metal. Climb up. Jump down! This is so fucking stupid. Oh, this box you'll run past. Oh, okay. Where'd he come from? Run! Run! Shit! Oh no, the, f <laughs> the, the pipes! <laughs> run! <laughs> he's he's just he's just He's just standing there. Okay. Why would you slowly open the door? You're in a running animation. Just punch it open. Oh, he can't get me. The door's the door's there. All right. Is he gonna open it slowly too? No. He kicks it open. All right. Run, 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 run. What do you mean? I didn't even get an evade for that one. How come you're immune to it? What the fuck? Run, 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 run. Oh, the hand looks like him reaching for us now. Symbolism. We're going back down? Why did we come up here? What did we find up here, apart from the hair in the elevator shafts? The finger- where did we find the fingernail? Oh yeah, we did find the finger- oh, on the hand! We found the fingernail on the hand. Okay. So there's one more we have to find. Where's that? I wonder if we already went past it. Nice sound effect there. Or right, is he back? Another chase sequence? Please no. Oh, for fuck's sake! Really? Oh. Oh. Wait, does this elevator even have an open ceiling? Run, 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 here we go again. Yeah. Shit, it was F this time. It's different every time. It's different every time. That's how they get you. Oh. It's gonna be F again this time, right? Yeah. Shit! <laughs> I pressed R. <laughs> uh, I had I had all I had a finger on E, a finger on R, and a finger on F, and I just I just hit R. Sorry. All right, it's gonna be F. I'm hitting F. I'm hitting F preemptively. I'm hitting F. Yes, best evade ever. This time it was R. What do you mean mouse? What do you mean mouse? I had all my fingers on the fucking keyboard. What do you mean fucking mouse? <laughs> no, no, it crashed. Wait, it didn't. It's here. It's working. Oh, good. Okay. okay. Did you activate sticky keys? No, it, it was a it was a runtime error. I think I'd have sticky keys turned off because I hate that. Everyone like gaming late at night and you hit you hit shift too many times in a row and then all of a sudden that really loud comes up and and your window gets hijacked by the sticky key thing and you have like a mini heart attack and you're like what the fuck is going on? And you're, like, and you're like oh sticky keys holy shit yeah let's turn that on. <laughs> Oh man, my head is Previously, like during the investigation, pounding right now. These puppies are making right. me go to another. Is there anything new here? Coffee one. Yeah. It has been eight hours, eight hours since we've had an, a, a recap update. Okay, here we go. Thirteen centils in March, huh? You getting paid to do this, Mike? Yeah. All right. E. Yeah. Shit, I hit R. C. We mean C. Oh, we attacked the elevator panel. 
Oh my god. Missed? Huh. Did I though? Later, red red cloak. <laughs> He's going up. I don't like QTEs, chat. Timing on those is pretty tight. Holy shit. Oh, we're back here now. Okay. Profiling start. All right. The timing is stricter because of the higher frame rate. No. No. Can you say your catchphrase? This game is a 6 out of 10? Okay. Who is this person that's doing this to her? That's all the information we need, Zach. Is it? Let's go back and show them what we found. Okay, is the axe murderer gonna drop out of the sky again now? All right, cool, all right. Um, that doesn't look good at all. That looked... What? What's going on? What's going on right now? What the... Have you seen any of these things before? Or... No, not that I know of. They were waiting the whole time? But that raincoat is a little odd. Odd? In a town where it rains so much? Well, the people here rarely go out in the rain. You guys are fine I in it. I moved here during high school, and I never really understood why. Can you shed some light on this, George? Rain's haunted, Cox no. gun. Well, there's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale, to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. Rain's haunted. A vicious killer in a bright red raincoat. Just a foolish piece of superstition. A rubbish story someone made up. Not many people still believe it, but I guess it's a traditional place. Most of the shops still close up when it rains. School's out too. What? And since there's no reason to go out, not many people ever wear raincoats. And now the raincoat killer has leapt out from his picture. Book. The raincoat killer? Oh, by the way, would you two kindly show me your bags? Our backs? Is this related to the case? The person with the upside down peace mark in that photo we found. He's our killer. And what makes you so sure about that? Zach and I saw him kill Anna in the lumber mill. Zach? He killed her right in there. Who the fuck is Zach? Oh, one thing. Please don't ask me about Zach. Oh. That's a private matter. Oh. Uh, 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 anyway, by uh, showing uh, you your backs, uh, uh, we can clear up most of my concerns about you. Isn't that for the best? You do want to remove yourselves from the suspect list. It will make things a lot easier. This is insane. Your methods are rude, insulting, and out of the question. And Emily is a female officer. Forcing her to show you her back is harassment. I'm not forcing anybody. I don't care anybody. If you're FBI or not. You are out of line. George has that symbol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. George, it's okay. Let's just show him and get it over with. Emily, are you crazy? Look. We flash our backs, and he'll start trusting us a little more. Right, Agent York? Yep. And you get the rights to Joms. Yep. Oh, we're smoke. <laughs> what are you doing, York? You a crazy person. What the fuck is wrong with you? The music. <laughs> Wait, that looks like the upside down peace sign that's been removed are afterwards. You satisfied now? Yes. My apologies. Now you, George. Yeah, yeah, okay. Please do the music with him too. Can't refuse it now. Can Please I? do the music with him too. Please, for the I love of God. To get your way all the time, Agent Morgan. For the love of God, please do the music with his back too. Mm. It's smoking <laughs> a true detective. Huh? George. <gasps> oh, what are these scars? Just like your Mr. Zack, something private. I don't have to tell you about it. Of course, just like Zack. Zack and your back. We can understand that, right, Zack? Right. Anyway, this will make oh. things a lot easier from now on. Okay, never explained. 
I'm glad to say you're both pretty much off the hook. Thank you for your cooperation. Do, 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 if do, anyone do, is do, suspicious do, around here, it's do. him. Yeah, show, show your He's back. He's most suspicious. Yeah. No, I don't think so. But he certainly is the most He's irritating. just auspicious. We've studied the crime scene. You know what we have to do next, Zach. George. Get some food. Can we arrange to have the town folk gather in one place? You need to look at all their some backs. things I want to address with the town folk. Very well. Very well. I'll arrange to have as many as possible gather in the community center tomorrow. Thank you, George. <sighs> oh man, that's enough to buy a couple coffees. What's go what, uh, back, what's going on? Uh, what's going on? Thomas, Agent Morgan, it's past twenty-one hundred. Uh, Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to suggest the same thing. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get as many people as I can to come, so don't be late. Okay? Don't be late. Don't be, be late. There. I'll be there. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Thomas. Well then, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. It's it's the whole the, the texture is it's just gone on the thing the lumber mill it's just fucking gone what the fuck why is there purple there is there like something you can go back and do something like a, a bonus area now I don't want to I don't want to do it because I, I don't want to go back in there um can someone who's played this game before tell me if if I if I if I go on this is it gonna lock me into something or can I see it and check it out no locking okay cool. So what is it that it does? I didn't see any useful clues left there, but maybe I should give it a try just for the thrill of it. I'll try again. I'm done with it. Okay, so you can just replay a level. Okay. Oh, there's a card over there. I like getting the cards. It reminds me of uh, collecting cards in this uh, in this game that I like to talk about. Oh, I have to do I have to get up the, the chute and write it down? Oh, do I have to go through the whole entire level to get that? Uh-oh. No, it's available outside here. Oh, is it? Okay. Do I have to climb up something to get there? And I can't see the ladder because of this. Sh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's from one side only. Hold on. Hold the phone. Do not adjust your bitrate settings. You need the racing minigame to get that card. Really? Congratulations Congratulations on finding a new bug, by the way. Oh, <laughs> this is the new <laughs> Gotta update the 4 gigabyte patch. All right. There's a ladder here. Can I climb up the ladder? It's not letting me. New bug. New tech. That is so weird. Oh, we don't get through here. Are right, my instincts right that we have to? Maybe, can we climb over those those logs? I thought you'd have to like go to the top and ride the chute down. That is a gigantic moon. Holy shit! Shoot the moon. Okay. Bring a car here and jump on top of it. I don't think I can jump on the car. Although I like your attitude. Do you have CS Source installed? Maybe that's the problem with the texture. <laughs> what? I don't. Why would that? <laughs> oh, it's not just that. It's 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 stuff over there, too. Wait, I can steal any car that I want? Yeah, we get paid for knocking out street lamps. Okay, can I climb up this? Joe, did you buy your copy of this game for Zach, a rundown yard sub by any chance? Um, yeah, it was by some by some creepy today. old woman just who just kept cackling every single time people. I asked her like why it was only Zach? fifty cents. It's going to get fun. She had milked over eyes, and uh, she really wanted me to buy this 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 necklace for Lily. I I got it for her too. Yeah. Weirdly, Lily's head can now turn around like an owl. This is really strange. I dig it though, so it's all right. All right, that's not right either. Okay, can we just go into the lake? No, we can't. Okay. <gasps> Let's go fishing. Vid games. I want to go fishing. Let me go fishing. Uh -oh. Um. What? Believe me, I know a good fishing spot when I see one. Trust my special agent instincts. All right, here we go. Is it good? 
wait for the right time to get a big hit, but if your line breaks, you will lose one bait, so be careful. What? 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 What do you mean? What? 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 What's this? What? 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 <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Fido, you're drunk. <laughs> yes! No! No! What? What the fuck is? You caught a sickle. All right. What the fuck? Does it matter? Is there any skill in this at all? Catch present, please. Chatter, I'm trying! No, no, one more, one more. No, two more, two more. Fuck. Okay, the Emily's seem to be in a row. So let's wait for a row of Emily's to be done and then hit E. So as soon as I see three Emily's in a row, I'm hitting E. I can't believe how they're dunking on their own girl. All right, here we go. See three Emily's, we hit E. All right, here we go. All right, one, one, two, three, go! Shit. All right, we got some first aid shit. All right, I, I would actually like, can I get a fish, please? You caught coffee with milk. All right, thank you so much. All right, I'm getting a fish. I'm getting a fish. Yes, I got a fish. Yes! Brown bullhead catfish. Catch, what, R release, what's this? I'm, I'm keeping it, I'm catching it, it's mine. I got a fish, all right, here we go. 13 cents also in March. <laughs> Are you just saying that on a timer? All right, three Emily's equals present. Three Emily's equals present, comes after the fishes. All right, long string of fish, L last fish. Boom, now we get the present. No, come on, one more, one more, one. Yes! What? Give me the fucking present! What is this music? At least you get the bait. You don't, if, if you get Emily's, you don't keep the bait. Emily takes your worm. Okay, so three Emily's and a present. Also, all right, so when it's the third fish in the line. There you go. No, no it was way too early. Oh, fucking, no. it's random. It's not even the same amount of moves, squares that it moves. Small mouth bass. Of course we're keeping it. I just got back, why are we CSO got, CSGO knife gambling? This is why we, like, why we don't have textures in the game. All right, here we go. Come on, one more, one more after this. All right, is it actually impossible to get the present? It's impossible. It's possible. Is it worth it? Is it the greatest thing ever? Does each fishing spot have a present and all the presents are worth it? They're just the best thing ever. All right, this is it. This is the one. 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 Fuck. Another sickle. Oh, we got a shovel this time. Okay. Thank you, Top Lolly, for gifting out four subs. Thank you, Top Lolly. Tuck Top Lolly into bed. You know what we should do? We should metagame it. It moves either four or two, two squares. So we should always go on the last, the second to last, the middle Emily, the middle Emily of the three. There we go. And then if we overshoot, we get something else and we don't lose our bait. And now we just need to do it until we, we only move two squares and then we'll get it. Oh man, we're getting like free ammo here. All right, this is it. I can do it forever now. Maybe it's like based on what square you stop it, it's baked in. Maybe I have to stop on first, Emily. Can you make a pun for each fish you catch like it's Animal Crossing? I've never played Animal Crossing. I'm an adult. <laughs> he says playing this train wreck. <laughs> Are you sure? I, I am sure, unfortunately. I have not played Animal Crossing, no. Can you say some bait like you did in you? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling it today, chat. I'm sorry. My head is pounding a little bit. I don't have the bants in me today. It's, it's taking all of my energy to, to line these up to get... To, oh, fucking hell, man. Don't get me wrong, I'm having a good time, but like, uh, my head is really hurting right now. First Emily seems to have our call. You think so? Do you think we should go first Emily? All right, I'm trying first Emily. I'm going, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm trying first Emily. No, don't do it. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing first Emily. First Emily, first Emily. What? Why is there a fish there now? That's different. Limit number two. What do you mean? Oh, we, oh, we're clear. We're cleaning the lake. 
We're getting all the garbage out of the lake. Are we getting all the Emilys out of the lake too? Well, there's an Emily after the present now. All right, first Emily, first Emily, first Emily. All right, here we go. Oh, yes, yes, finally. All right, what is it? What is it? It's gonna be something so good, something so awesome. What is it? Sick. What if I told you it was a permanent upgrade item? It's it's a cigarette! What do you mean? A very rare and strong brand, smoking them will make you forget the time is going by. It permanently upgrades your lungs. <laughs> I better get some eat soon. Alright, what's going on? What's with this? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going- Whoa, 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 why, why, why? What have we done, chat? Was that a zombie? So, is- is York getting to the state himself when he's smoking his cigarettes? I'm I'm confused. All right, what are, what are we doing now? Whoa, it's coming! They're coming out of nowhere. All right, how do we how do we get the card, chat? How do we get in there? It's past midnight. Oh, it's got nothing to do with the cigarette. It's because at nighttime the zombies come out. What a horrible night to have a curse. Oh, okay. What 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 the, what the fuck are you? Hi, puppy. <laughs> We got him. Why is why is there a big dog? All right, let's heal. Redditor mode activated. I'm I'm just gonna eat a fish. Smoke until it's daytime. I want the car. How do I get the card, Chat? I must have to go through this, right? It's gotta be that. I just I can't see a way up there because it's all fucked up. Can I go inside and do it? Oh, for fuck's sake, the dog. All right. I have to do a race to get it. Well, where's the race? Okay, one second, one second, one second. Okay, the race has to be around here somewhere. Oh my god, the turning. Oh, this is a bit. What, 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 what's a bit? It's not a bit. Oh, this is messed up too. Okay, we're saving it. All right, do we want to reload now and see if it gets fixed? Or do we want to drive into town and see if the entire town is fucked up like this? That sounds like it could be absolutely hilarious. Let's go see if the whole town is fucked up. Yes, and also cap your frame rate. I don't know how to do that, Chatter. How do I do that? No, there's the race. The race? Oh, race isn't available after midnight. My my fucking cheeks. Like here we go. Time to listen to American Idiot. Do 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 do. How do I honk? Is the dog still there? Sometimes I feel like these games were made for you. I am I am very good at entertaining myself. I think, and if a game lets me fuck around, I will find a way to entertain myself. And I'm just lucky that I found an audience that likes likes to watch me entertain myself, I guess. For fuck's sake, buy the better car. I don't even- I didn't even buy this car! We're not gonna make it. Zombies! Alright, this is- this is the end? Oh, this is so awkward. Alright, turn, turn, turn. Alright, that's the end, that's the end, that's the end, that's the end, that's the end. That's the end. It's not the end, it's not the end. There's gonna be another one after this, isn't there? Turn, turn, boost, 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 boost! Yes! All right, that was a close one. All right, so it, it changed that. No texture. This is how it is. It, it, it adds to the aesthetic. The game, the game breaking just adds to the charm. This game is immune to criticism. Speaking of 80s movies, 
One jewel in the rough springs to mind. Oh, yeah? Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? No. Back in 83, directed by Douglas McCown. Never heard of it. Right. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. Nope. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth. I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. Wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. That one I have seen. I think that one was back in 89. I've seen Tremors. Ron Underwood. Yeah. Now that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Yep, he was in it. Masterpiece. I remember that, yeah. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. I've only seen the first one, too. These are real movies. Tremors is a real movie. I've, I've seen that. I've Zach, seen Tremors. Is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community center by 1500 today. Yeah. Just it's... think of talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. Oh, it's going to get fun. Sally Graham. Okay, that's uh, and and S Sally a Anna Graham's mother. All right, we got it. All right, what the fuck is this here? Oh, it got smaller because we're out of the car now. All right. Marvelous. Uh... This game is so fucking weird. A ramp for our car. Yes. All right, here we go. Where'd the zombies go? Yes. We did it. We did it. Of course, in Remo, he had so much makeup on, you couldn't tell. I just lost points for vandalism there, whereas earlier, I gained points for knocking something down. All right. All right. Whatever. All right. This is definitely the way back, right? It's not, is it? We're going... We're leaving... We're going out of town. Where are we going? Oh, maybe we loop around the... The, the uh... The long way. Do a movie podcast with Asian New York. Do a movie podcast and just every week I haven't seen the movie. That'd be great. I've only probably seen... Like... 100 movies and maybe that sounds like a lot but i really don't think it is a lot i think 100 movies is not a lot of movies to see i've only seen one of the die hard no i've seen die hard 2 i've seen die hard 1 and 2 that's it. i haven't seen die hard 3 or any of the ones after that i haven't seen any of the lethal weapons i haven't seen any of the mad max movies apart from fury road which is awesome i've probably seen less than 32 how have you seen less than 30 movies what there's no way you've seen more movies than you think we get it, you don't watch movies? Wow, why so salty chatter? What the hell? Oh, 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 crap. Wait, what's this? What's this for? Where are we? Is this the community center and we're not, we're here at the wrong time? Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. All right, let's go save it and see if we can fix this because this is really bad. Okay, let's go save it. I'd like to save, please. I hope it goes away because if it doesn't, I don't know what to do. Discord light mode. <laughs> Four gigabyte pad. This is a new bug. It's not going to do shit. All right, game is restarted. Not a crash. Not a crash. Starting it up again. That's what happens when you disrespect the four gig church. I'm collapsing the four gig economy, clearly. There is no count. What do you mean? I thought people were counting. Maybe it's a borderless window specific bug. Yeah, it's true. That's that, It could be that. It could be that. Maybe there's like multiple layers of bugs. Maybe we're going to have to switch it over to Windows mode when we're uh, borderless window mode when we're finding a cutscene crash and then switch it back to normal full screen when, we, when we're not doing that. Here we go. Please, please don't be there. Please don't be there. Okay, it's fixed. All right, we're good. Also, now it's raining inexplicably. All right. Would you call this game well made? Um, I wouldn't call the port well made. I don't know how it runs and how it functions on a console. I, that would be the true test, I think. Joe, can you use the cigars to pass time faster? No, I'm going to go home and sleep at the hotel. Can you even get me in there or do you just look? Now, Joel Gray's daughter is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. Y yeah. You that, right, Zach? Yeah. Jennifer Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies. I don't know who that is. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I've never seen that. 1986, directed by John Hughes. Huh. 
That one was so 80s. Uh huh. So am I. Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know. Okay. But you really do like those cheerful movies. I, I don't. We actually. used to love those teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink, St. Elmo's Fire, and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last the memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. So we can then go maybe back we can catch movies. up on a few. Give some thought about what <clears throat> movie you want to see next, Zach. Okay, so originally I thought Zach was supposed to be like like the name for the player and he was talking to us, but now I think it's like his dead brother or something. And the way he reacted to the, the kids being, he was like, look, twins. I'm guessing it was his dead twin brother. And like, he's, he's just talking to him somehow. Zach and York, Y and Z, something like that. I guess it could still be a stand-in for the uh, for the player, but that line was kind of, as the kids these days are fond of saying, sus. It could still be an imaginary friend. And I guess that would be also a stand-in for, for the player. Orange marker is a trading card, remember? Yeah, I want that. I want to get that. No, I don't want that. I, you're right. I need to go to the hotel. Can I put a marker on the map? Thank you for reminding me because I could... Where's the edge of the map? Okay. How far down? Cool. And and this is how far out we can zoom. What's toggle map? Great deer. Oh, Great Deer Yard Hotel. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So where are we? We're up here. I'm guessing the yellow arrow is us? Oh my god, how far away are we? No, it's not. Is, is it not us? We're here. All right, so we have to go, we have to go west. That's east. No, it's not. It's not. Prepare to get fuck chatter. The compass up there is pointing north in this direction. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. And finally, I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie, but I put a lot of thought movies. into this, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. I, I, I already do. 1975, directed by Steven Spielberg himself. Whoa. The grandfather of panic movies, set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. We can pick up a flower, sure. I was always afraid that a hand might be mean to do that up. to see what it does. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's Jaws. Oh! Into our camera work, accompanied by that John Williams I've music. seen Jaws. I've never been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. And Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. They'd but come still, to listen to me talk about it. I wanted to taste that terror in real time. That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. The second Back to the Future. Jaws 2. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but we'll discuss that another time. Eh, is it? So, the scene where Jaws appears right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. He passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words, Jaws Part 19. The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies. It was still a great joke. 30 years from 1985 well, I've seen all would of them, be then. 2015 will be there pretty soon. I don't remember anything after I wonder Jaws what life though. would be like by then, Zach. Because I was so young. I kept, I kept making, I kept expecting him to say, "Get out of the car." This flower. There's something very mesmerizing about it. I wonder what it's called. I'll take one with me and ask someone later. You got flower with no name. Is it just a daisy? He's coming. Oh, should we go fish for another present? Amazing. Amazing. Wonder who we're gonna take the flowers to. Is there? Did someone mention a flower shop? I think someone mentioned that. 
So flowers seem to be one-time pickup only. The dog is playing on a gamepad. <laughs> Even more. Nothing. Just my imagination. What? Is the hotel going to be full of monsters late at night? Whoa, that doesn't look right. What the f... Alright, here we go. What's with the... What's with the... The, the bugs? Is it because my, my suit is dirty? I have an aura of bugs following around me now. Following me around now. Do we need to shave? Shaving or not? Okay, where was my room again? Ooh, it's kind of creepy now at night. I like it. What the hell is that sound? Someone's peeing? Okay, let us clean the suit. You cannot clean clothes while they're being... You cannot wear clothes... You cannot clean them while you're wearing them. Very realistic. Alright. Ten dollars? Ten dollars? Alright, I have cleaned it. Alright, now I'm putting it back on. It will take 24 hours for it to get cleaned. Excuse me? Alright, should we go wearing the red one tomorrow or the green tie one tomorrow? Red? Alright, we're going with red. <sighs> All right, let's have a sleep. Are we gonna die from hunger? Moderate sleep, deep sleep. Let's do a deep sleep. <sighs> and we died of hunger. That's uh, how my story ends. Let's go and um, let's go see what's her face. Oh my God, look at the health just plummet. Holy shit, give me some food. I'm hungry, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, hi. Okay, thank you. All right, okay, I need lots and lots of bait. Give, give me all the bait you have. Yeah, I want all of it. Oh, is it is it that amount for six? It's $119.34 for six of them? No for each? No, well then why is she not losing any when we buy them from her? We should have a lot now. I want to eat some crackers. I'm buying crackers. You had six last night? Yeah, but maybe I picked some up from somewhere that I didn't realize. But that's what I'm thinking now is that you get six for each, each one. Each uh, purchase, you get six of them. Let's, let's check. I should have like 18 or 19 worms now. I have 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. It's true. You can eat breakfast for free? Oh, here I am paying for it like a, like, like a simp. Let me go get my free breakfast. Hold on. Unpredictability lies ahead today. Lucky place. Train station. Too bad there's no train station. Unpredictable life is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Cases, Cases may come oh. flooding in like passengers at rush hour. Nah, I'm good with this one. All right, we got a little. No! Oh no! Oh no! No! I need breakfast. I need breakfast. Quick! 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 How do I eat? I need to eat. Look at all this food. It's just making it worse. How do I get my free breakfast? What time is it? What time is it? It's ten ten. Did we? Did we miss it? Did we? Did we miss free breakfast? Shiny spot, the shiny spot's coffee. Maybe free breakfast ends at 10. Oh no, free breakfast, no. You can eat free lunch at police department. Okay, let's get there quickly, hold on, hold on. It's not gonna kill me for being hungry, right? It'll leave me at one, one HP. There's no way it's actually gonna like kill me. Free breakfast. Damn, that's how my story ends. I missed breakfast and I didn't want to pay for food. Wait, what? 9.32 to 13. Wait, why am I at the hospital? What in the GTA is this? Why am I at the hospital? Did I lose money for that? It's nine o'clock. Did we just skip a whole day? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, no, 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 I'm reloading. I'm reloading, I'm reloading and we're gonna drive as fast as we can to the police station and get our free breakfast, our uh, free lunch. It's free lunch. Reload for breakfast, we can't, it's already, it's already past time. It's 10.07, free breakfast is over. Where's the police station? All right, we're not losing any, we're not losing any yet. Why are we not losing health this time? Did it give me a little bit of food meter when I reloaded? Imagine paying for food. Oh no, my health's going down. All right, wait, wait, wait. okay, hold on, let's check the map, let's check the map. All right, where's, where's the police station? Okay, there's the police station, it's right there. Greenvale Sheriff's Department. All right, there we go. There's food, it's right on there. All right, so we have to go left, then straight up, then right, and okay, left, left, then straight, okay. That's Emily. Who gives a shit about Emily? 
FBI emergency. I'm lost. I'm lost. They're taunting me. All right, we're here. We're here. We're here. Open, open, open. I'm all turn around. All right, here we go. Food. <laughs> Turkey sandwich. All right, where is it? Where's the free lunch? Office room? Hello, free lunch? Let's save it. Is it in here? Office room? Yes! All right, hey. Hello. Do you want lunch? I do. I do. I can throw something together. I do. Yes, please. Yeah, I'll have a free in a jiffy. All right. Yes. So, what exactly do you want to talk to everyone do, about? Do, this case do, goes deeper than do, you think. Do, the town do, folk may have do, heard about the murder, do, but they don't understand do, it. Do, do, do. It's a very dangerous situation, and I need to warn them properly. I hope most of them are decent enough to come. No problem there. Emily has made all the arrangements. I've told everyone to gather around between 1500 and 1700. Great. Stare. Reminds me of a film I saw recently. Town is under attack by aliens. And so the mayor calls all citizens to the town hall to warn them. Now overseeing this, the aliens attack the hall and wipe them all out together. Is that relevant, Agent York? The way they kill is fantastic. They used a combination of balloons and meat sauce for exploding heads. Those aliens start firing their death rays and heads start popping. It's flat. Quite something. Agent York, Mars some attacks. of us are trying to eat here. I know, Emily. I'm one of them. <laughs> well, anyway, your cooking <laughs> is the best, Thomas. Thank you. No, no problem. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, look at that. Free food meter all the way topped off. Damn. Now to go to hospitals for, for, for some free health care. Our favorite cartoon isn't running. Okay, is there any, is there any side quest here on the map? I'm not seeing it. Well, who's who's that? What's the blue? Oh, it's an NPC. Back. Go away. Don't come any closer. Thomas? No. Thomas? What? Oh, Agent York. I'm sorry. I must have just dozed off. Last late night last night? No. Well... I work nights at my sister's bar to help her out, so your sister's bar, it's not like I'm moonlighting or anything, and it is a peaceful town. A peaceful town with a first degree homicide case. Try to stay alert, okay? Yes, I'll be more careful. Don't bark. Shoo shoo. Jitsu? That's mine. Shoo shoo. Thomas? Huh? What is it? Thomas. Oh, Agent York. I'm sorry, I must have dozed off. It's a warm today. The warmth would make anyone sleepy. We are in a time of crisis, and we are officers of the law. Try and remember that. Y yes, I'm really sorry. Uh, how how many of these are there? We're not going to find out. Okay, now what? Do, do, do. It crashed. I didn't save it. I didn't save it after the fucking food. <sighs> I didn't fucking save it after the fucking food. God fucking damn it. I'm actually upset. With four gigabyte patches, the four gigabyte patch is not gonna prevent these crashes. How do you know? I know. I just know. I know. Actually, it will. How how certain are you? How certain are you, Weebs? One hundred percent. Previously, during the invest. One hundred percent. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I will install the four gigabyte patch if it crashes. If it doesn't crash. At all for the rest of it i will hello resume steinsgate sunday on a saturday after forspoken Thank however you. if it does crash if it does crash we delay 13 sentinels to may will you take this gambit weebs do it or no balls it's it's chat that has to decide and you play signalis do you need to be told the story of icarus weeb just be happy about your your steinsgate Wait, what are we doing? Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. What's the point of this? Can I like overhear them at lunch one day if I don't go to lunch? Why would I pass up a free meal? I thought it was gonna be a bathroom. So I thought it was gonna be Emily changing or something and it was gonna be a really creepy scene. Yes, you're, you're really gonna take it. You wanna delay 13 Sentinels to May. Cause there's no way the four gigabyte patch is going to make it not crash for the rest of the 50 hours that we're going to be playing this damn that's cold that's cold do alt tabs count mm, if i alt tab it no i don't think alt tabs count lily ingram anagram 
what we played instead of 13 Sentinels. Just just other things on the list. I'll just push 13 Sentinels back to to after Metal Gear Solid or whatever it is after Metal Gear Solid. I'm sorry I said 100%. Please don't do it. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels good. Will Gnome Crash this count? Yeah, of course. I was told... Where's Emily go? I was told that it would be a crash for your experience with the 4 gigabyte patch. Hi. The town residents are gathering between 1,500 and 1,700. Do not try to scare them too much. All right. What time is it right now? Oh. So we have to kill two hours. All right. How long is, how long is that going to take? Let's go fishing for a while until we, it ticks over. Greetings. This place is lively, unlike the hotel's dining room. Not as noisy as the city, though. I'm just gonna take the co oh it's a it's a card for coffee okay suspect why why is the sound gone <laughs> floating mask I don't have an error coming up it's just hanging Wait for the program to respond. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I can wait. I've been using a computer daily since I was like, I don't know, 14 years old. Maybe a little bit even younger than that. It's been pretty rare that I haven't used a computer every single day since then. And hitting wait for to respond has only ever worked once. Once. And it was on Adobe Premiere. And it was like I would have lost so much progress on on the video and i was like i was like hail mary no fuck it i'm hitting wait to respond and it actually worked how old are you Joe? i am 16 all right it's not working close the program all right well this is frustrating maybe we're not gonna have to do your gambit chat maybe we're just gonna have to install the patch anyway <sighs> start downloading i'll have it downloaded for tomorrow i think i think we're gonna have to do it this is like it's these aren't funny crashes what is this copy pasta? Less crashes, Chad. Better stream experience, Chad. No Steinsgate, Chad. 13 Sentinels gets delayed, Chad. All good to me. If we run over to the diner real quick right now, will we see Emily come out of it? Or see Emily doing something inside? All right, this is where they're having a talk, right? Can we overhear something? How is the sound fucked here? Are we supposed to be able to overhear this right now or no? I'm enjoying the uh, the red suit. Okay, I feel like it's just gonna crash again. What sound card do you have? You think I have a sound card? Okay, let me just uh, sneak right by you there and save it. Saving next to the crash area. That's, I don't know what I'm doing right now. All right, it worked out. All right, cool. Maybe we're not doing any side content chat. Two different crashes in the same area trying to, trying to transition into like, uh, I'm guessing a conversation scene. All right, let's hope it loads. I'm gonna run right there and see if it happens again. If it does, then maybe we're gonna have to call the stream. I'll install the patch for tomorrow and see if it fixes it. And if it doesn't, then we're gonna have to get it on console. We're gonna have to restart again from the mid game, unfortunately, but I'm okay with that. We can we can blaze through it. Would it be safe to play this on the console? Oh, almost undoubtedly. It'll probably still crash a little bit on console, but yeah. Have you tried repiling the kernel? I've been doing that on my second keyboard on my feet um, the whole time, and it's not helping at all. Which console? Uh, I don't know. All right, let's run straight in there. Oof. Oh, that's a yikes from me, chief. That's a yikes from me, chief. Really? Just going in there just like crashes completely. That is a yikes from me, chief. Gamepad? Yeah, let's go down that fucking rabbit hole again. Let's go down that rabbit hole again. Let's do the gamepad. You know what? Let's do it. We're going to end the stream anyway now because I downloaded the patch. So screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Setting. Controller. Here we go. Let's do it. If you don't care about the gamepad shenanigans, the stream is over, everybody. I'll have the patch downloaded for tomorrow. Just saying. Forspoken doesn't have this problem. <laughs> This game got at least one 10 out of 10. I can see why. The game is charming. I'm enjoying the game. It's just that it's the port is not very good. All right. I'm going to walk over here and just talk, and it should work, right? Oh, my God. It did. What? Mr. Francis York Morgan. We're here to buy something here. We shall meet again. That's clear.
Okay. Last time I spoke to her and it broke. So here it broke as well here. Okay, so it broke. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, so gamepad officially, officially makes no difference. Put to bed forever. Tuck gamepad tech into bed. Window. I'm on windowed mode. It is on windowed mode. I've been playing window mode all day. Now you're going to say try full screen mode. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we have 10 minutes left before we usually stop the stream. Anybody have any questions for me that were asked throughout the, the stream I didn't see? We'll do a little 10, 10 minute Q&A and then we'll, uh, we'll end. Are you using compatibility mode? That doesn't do anything. That's fake news. It doesn't do anything. Have you seen American Psycho? I have not seen American Psycho. At this point, I feel like I have, though, from seeing all the clips of, of it online. I kind of like how the terrible map makes you actually learn your way around town. Yeah, I feel that a bit, yeah. I hear if you play with a DDR dance pad, the game works better. Hmm. Let me go get that. I have one in the corner. Just so you know, you've played and liked the song from FLCL on, st on stream. I doubt it. I really doubt that. Was that during the Cursed uh, Jump King stream? So is the wager on for tomorrow? No, I'm going to have to download the, the patch anyway. If you still want to have the wager for absolutely no reason because you want a chance at getting Steins Gate back or, and or delaying um, 13 Sentinels, then you know we can do that if you really want to. Can you scritch your puppers for me? I can do that. I can do that. Oh, I can't actually. They're asleep. Sorry, Sarah. They're both completely asleep right now. They're out for the coon. Have you read any David Wong, Jason Pargan, John dies at the end, etc.? I have not. No, but I want to. You said to keep refreshing YouTube and the Witcher 3 video still isn't there. Should I keep trying? Are you on the right channel? Maybe you're on channel channel 2. Go to channel 1. And if you're on channel 1, go to channel 2 because maybe I uploaded it there instead. Also, try full screen mode. And if not, try try windowed mode. Why do you hate us? We are not even one of the annoying fan base. <laughs> what? Don't get me wrong. You guys are pretty good. But, like, come on. You're not saints. You in particular, I know who you are. You're a longtime member. You've said some wild shit in the chat. You specifically has have have like like said something awful. What the fuck? I hate democracy. Will Joker and make a return? You do know that you're just throwing throwing 13 Sentinels fans under the bus with that wager. Nah, all all weebs are the same ones. All weebs. Earlier you mentioned J J Jacob Geller. I keep thinking I'm saying his last name wrong. Is it Geller or Gellar? Probably Geller. Have you seen his Returnal or Immortality video? I've not seen the Returnal video. Is he, is the Immortality video the one where he talks about head transplants? Because if that is it, then yes. If it's not, then no, I haven't watched that one. I've watched, I think, five or six of Geller's videos. Do you still refuse to iron your shirts? Yeah, absolutely. It's just a waste of time. Waste of time. Why would you iron your clothes? Hold on. All right. There is one point. There is one once time when it is appropriate to iron your clothes. You iron your clothes if it is a formal get together or like a very fancy place wearing a suit, that sort of thing. Then, of course, you iron your clothes or you like get it properly cleaned and prepared, you know, at a place if it's a suit, especially if you haven't worn it for a while. But when it comes to normal ass clothes, the ironing is just a waste of fucking time waste of time why would you do that you go to fancy event no but if i did <laughs> no but if i did i would probably iron my outfit <laughs> have you watched any action button tim rogers videos i have not no i think science gate is awful but i want you to keep playing because i found those streams super funny please consider so this is just a hail mary one in a hundred chance Let's see if we can get science gate back on the menu this is what this bet is this bet is okay really you guys are willing to screw over 13 Sentinels fans so badly that you are willing to take a 1 in 100. Are Steinsgate fans... What's the Venn diagram of Steinsgate fans and 13 Sentinels fans? Because 13 Sentinels, I already know, is the better experience. And I want to defend the people that, that like the better experience over Steinsgate, which is just awful. So, like, I, I feel like I want to throw my support behind the people with better taste. 13 Sentinels only fan here, all right? Th they have an only fans? What the fuck? All right, maybe Steins Gate's not so bad. Let me look at the cover again. I have it in front of me. Yeah, that'd be illegal, wouldn't it? I'm a Malding Joseph Anderson fan. 
What do you think of Jason Statham? I love The Meg, both ironically and ironically. I've actually seen that movie. I've seen The Meg. The Meg was entertaining. I, th I thought it was pretty fun. Um, I like Jason Statham. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a movie with Jason Statham in it that I didn't like or was entertained by at least a little bit. Um, he's the one that's in that movie where he has to keep getting electric shock or else he's going to die, right? That movie was really fun and really stupid. Um... Obviously, he's amazing in Snatch. Snatch is an amazing movie. That's one of the best movies. Crank. Yeah, Crank is really, really, uh, really stupid, but it's stupid fun. When will you release merch so I can finally buy your fucking statue? I've been waiting for you. I don't have any merch. I don't know how to do that. I should learn, though. Joms plushie. Great mug on a mug. It would just be, it would just be a white mug with black text. Great mug. Or black mug with white text. Great mug. That's it. That's all it is. Simple classic timeless timeless you didn't tell the twitch chat about your hot take about witcher 3's combat versus genshin's and breath of the wild well it's not a hot take it's it's just objectively true genshin impact has better combat than witcher 3 and breath of the wild i would put it witcher 3 last in the combat for those open world games witcher 3 is the worst combat of them all then breath of the wild then Genshin. It's just true. Genshin has pretty good combat. Like, it really does. I hate switching characters. Okay, then you're not gonna like, you're not gonna like Genshin's combat. I like switching the characters, because I like doing the combos of the elements and stuff. It, you know, I'm not saying it's amazing. It's not like, oh my god, it's so good. But it's alright. It's decent. Like, it's fun. Like, the way that you compare some combos and learn how some characters are really powerful compared to other ones. Like, it's alright. It has, it has some fun to be had. Whereas Breath of the Wild, like, gets really tiring really early. And, like, Witcher 3's combat, I was already bored of it in White Orchard. <laughs> Does Witcher 3 have better combat than Witcher 2? Yes, but that's only because Witcher 2 is completely busted. If Witcher 2 was, wasn't was busted, I think Witcher 2 has more potential. Do, 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 Joe doesn't know about Dendro. That's, that's true. I haven't played Genshin Impact in over a year. So, maybe Dendro is not fun anymore. You could have downloaded the 21 kg kg big four gigabyte patch like fifteen thousand times by now yeah but then i have to get it installed and test it and shit and we're already so close to the end of the stream why bother doing that why bother like sabotaging it and like what if i have to restart to get the work i did i downloaded dp fix and that like is just like unzip it into the fucking folder that's all you have to do and i have to restart the computer to get that working it wasn't working even with that you're overthinking the four gigabyte patch. what do you mean i'm overthinking it dp unzip it yeah i have to un unzip the dp yeah Okay, where is it? I'll download it live, and then you know I have it, and then I'll install it for tomorrow. Where, where, where's the patch? DP four gigabyte download. All right. Why is it asking me to turn safe search off? Deadly premonition four gigabyte download. Okay, on game pressure, I'm sure that uh, someone linked me this in in Jad's actually. It's a generic patch. Just Google four gigabyte patch. What do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm literally. All right, four gigabyte patch. I have typed that into Google. All right. So it's for Fallout New Vegas. All right. Add free. All right. Add free. All right. I'm adding free. Four gigabyte patch free. Okay. It's still for Fallout New Vegas. This one's for Sims 2. So it's just a patch that helps any game. If you're having trouble with a game, you download a program called Four Gigabyte Patch, and the Four Gigabyte Patch will just like just put it in the directory, double click, and then bada bing bada boom it just takes away all the glitches why don't why don't people why don't game devs just use it all the time we should have this with our game too all right is it on game pressure four gigabyte crash fix okay i'm pretty sure hypothetical walrus sent me sent me a thing for this www.ntcore.com four gigabyte patch all right that's the one we want nt core all right Joe's going to be really eating his words. So what words? What have, what words have I been eating? What claims have I made? The claim that it's not going to take away all the glitch, the, the fucking crashes? That's true. There's no way it's going to like take away all of the crashes. Oh, I see. <laughs> all right. Words eaten. Words eaten. It is literally just a four gigabyte patch that is not specific to the game. It just makes you have more memory on certain older games. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Words eaten. Well done, Chatter. Okay. How, does, how the fuck does that work? You need virtual memory. All right. How, how do we make uh, how do we make Deadly Premonition see that? Is it part of the install here? We're downloading more RAM. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. In my defense, when I typed in 4 gigabyte patch into Google, it didn't show up with this shit. It gave me a link to Fallout New Vegas. 
Okay, now I will put this on my desktop where it belongs. Okay, I think I downloaded the wrong one, chat. It's not four gigabytes. Is this just a link to the real download? It's just it's just twenty kilobytes. I don't think I don't think this is the real thing. I don't trust this. What is this gonna do? It's an, a dot exe file. Yeah, I know. Okay, to drop the me. I know. That's what worries me. Here, just use this dot exe streamer. It'll be fine. I don't think the name of the mod refers to how big the mod is. I think. Yeah. I. I. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I've. I've. I've mean too hard. I don't know if I'm. If I'm being reverse memed at this point. I know. Okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed sewing too much and now I have to be uh I have to do some reaping and reaping sucks. <laughs> just click it, just click a little bit. I'm not clicking it on stream. It's it's there. I have it. I will test that it's working by the stream tomorrow and then we will launch it with the 4 gigabyte patch. So now I have DP fix that's changing the sh all the shit that the settings are having. I have to do all, go in the launcher and turn full screen off, even though it's actually launching in window full screen mode to, to fucking like trick the DP to work. And now I have to also launch it with the, the four gigabyte patch executable before that, and then select what I want to do. Like how, how many layers are we on right now? How many peripherals, like virtual peripherals are we doing to make this game run? I feel like I'm I'm launching the fucking like conversion of a Game Boy on the Super Nintendo converter where like I have to put like the the PAL to NTS F or whatever into the into the the Super Nintendo and then put two game a, a game on from the one region in the back another region on top then put the Game Boy fucking like converter on the top then put the other region converter for the Game Boy games in it then put the fucking Game Boy game in that I want to play and then pray to God that it's working and then turn and then turn the fucking Super Nintendo on. I have to do it all the time with my American Nintendo that I have to take over to, to the UK with it with a fucking like a electric converter that was plugged into the into the outlet on the wall too that every so often one of them would catch fire and would just like smoke up with burnt plastic the whole entire fucking room and we have to replace it all to play fucking Super Mario World. Don't forget to install sweet FX, which hooks into the renderer to fuck with the pixels for going. No, I'm not doing that. No, no, no. That's not going to prevent crashes. If the fix is just so you can play it in 1080p, maybe 720s. Okay. No, this is the four gigabyte patch is not for that. Joe's from the UK. I am from the UK. I'm a Welshie. Always thought he's American or Canadian. That's the least British accent I've heard. Do I want to choose violence right now? I don't know if I want to choose violence. Okay, so I'm not saying that you're saying this chatter, but a lot of Americans. Maybe you're not American. A lot of Americans have this really infuriating fucking habit of saying that they don't have an accent. So many Americans that I would speak to when I was like talking to people on the internet at, a, at an early age, like when in my teens, they, they would find out I'm from the UK and they'd be like, oh, do you have an accent? And I would be like, yeah. And they'd be like, wow, that's so cool. I wish I had an accent. And I would be like, you do. You do have an accent. It's an American accent. And they would just say, lol, no, I don't. Ha ha ha. You don't know what you're talking about. They're just, just, just insane. Just these insane people that would be like, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have an accent. People here don't have an accent. You don't know what you're talking about. Just, just like, like uno reversal of the highest order. And I would just be like, they're just going like, whoop, 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 like, or whatever owl precursor owl noise I would make back, back then. Okay. So from the makers that brought you, people in America don't have accents, even though even within America, like you have so many fucking different accents and regional dialect, like, like New York city itself is like a little microcosm of the UK for like the diversity of accents you have just in the fucking city. Never mind in the whole fucking country. Like, like, holy shit. All right. From the makers that brought you that take. Okay. When you move somewhere, you, you gain the accent of that place in almost all cases. That is something that happens. It is, it is really rare that that you will move somewhere and not develop some sort of accent when when you get there or 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 um, adopt the accent when you get there. Usually the people that yeah Midwesterners really don't have accent. What the fuck? Okay, usually when someone goes somewhere, moves somewhere, and stays there for a long time, and they keep their accent, that is a purposeful decision that they're making to try and preserve their accent. My uncle, who's Scottish, would text like he was Scottish. 
he he would type it out in his Scottish accent as a way for him to preserve his Scottish accent because his Scottish accent was really important to him, even though he lived in Canada. And he still had not a thick Scottish accent, but he had something of a Scottish accent. So my, my mom was Scottish, so I'm half Scottish, I'm half Welsh. That's not just Scott. Who, who, who claimed that, Chatter? Who said that it was just Scots? Didn't it? Yeah, like that. Hello. You know? So, like, yeah. Um. So I'm half Scottish, half Welsh. All Canadian. You don't type phonetically? No. Your uncle's in the chat right now. Joe. If he is, then here's a big fucking hearty fuck you to you. <laughs> Did you know that while all English speakers have accents, English has no dialects? Are we, are we getting into a semantic argument? I think there are about 2% of Brits who claim they don't have an accent because they speak Oxford English. Okay, so, you know, obviously it's not just Americans that have this this issue. But in my case, it was an American every single time that claimed that they don't have an accent. Stop the stream. This is off the rails. The way Minnesotians speak is actually how the first vertebrate vertebrates spoke during the Cambrian explosion. Yeah, I heard that when all the all the little vertebrates were were spreading out from from the explosion point, they were all heard saying, "Oh, let me scoot right past you there." Oh, oh, sorry. As they all fucking just bumped into each other from from the you know the epicenter of the Cambrian explosion, as they were like, "Woof." Oh, oh, sorry. You know, like yeah, that's that's what was going on. Yeah. So they, they, they are the only ones that don't have an accent, eh? Like, yeah, they are the only ones. They also have no taste buds. Because they like, they like to eat bread just dipped into mayonnaise. No, no, that's northern Minnesotan. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, eh? <laughs> All caps, bro. True, use some fucking seasoning. Holy shit, right? Right. <laughs> Put some salt on the mayo bread. <laughs> uh, how true is the overuse of vinegar in the UK? Um, in my experience, very true. Vinegar was a staple at the table in, in the same way that people over here usually have like salt, pepper, ketchup. And then depending on where you are over here, mustard is very common. Relish is very common. Um, there's another one. Mayonnaise, not so common, but it is here. In, in Britain, it was, it was as common. You would have salt, pepper, ketchup, and vinegar on the table. Like, vinegar would just be there. Um, usually malt, but yeah, that would be there. With fish and chips, extremely common. There was, there was often vinegar with fish and chips. Gro vinegar can be pretty good on a certain kind of food. I don't particularly like it all that much because, um, I think I'm a little allergic to it. It, it makes my tongue... I, I'm not going to say bleed, but it makes my tongue, like, welt up in, in a certain way. I don't know. But I, I do think it can be tasty on the right kind of food. It No, not itch. It's like a little little bump. Like, tiny little bumps will appear on my tongue. And they last for, like, a couple hours. Glasgow chippies will drench your, your chips in it. Yeah. Yeah. Ever had beans on toast? Thoughts? Yeah, I'm British. Yeah, of course. I have no thoughts about it. I'm British. It's like asking me about the rain. Yes, I have experienced it. No, I don't have any thoughts on it. How's it going? It's going okay. My headache is, is pretty bad. No, not, I can't talk. All joking aside, beans on toast is uh is not my favorite food, but I think it's fine. I think it gets too much hate. What's wrong with beans on toast? Or cheese on toast? Ever baked beans on a clothes iron? No, I can't say I have done that, no. But that is probably the most British thing I've ever heard in my entire life, is baking beans on a clothes iron. Yeah. While looking at the rain outside as it hits the window. You should install the 4 gigabyte for your headache. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That would help. Yeah. Honestly, as an Italian, the shit that Brits and American call food is astounding. If that's food, your name is Joe. Okay, you fuck, you can fuck off. Okay, I don't, I don't take this slander. No, 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 no. You, you fucking Europeans that want to be like, oh, we have the real cuisine. No, fuck off. All right. Like the shit that you pass off as your own isn't even fucking Italian food. All right. Look, American and British cuisine is so fucking varied because we don't have any fucking cultural identity. Our cultural identity is, oh, that's that sounds good. I'll have some of that, please. And just reach out like a fucking monkey going from a tree to tree and just being like mine. So you can't you can't say that shit when there is no British or American cuisine. It's just whatever the fuck we want, please. Fuck you. It's ours now. Like, like no. You can't say that shit. But no, all, the, all the, the French and Italians are like, oh, we have the best food. No, fuck off. Like, no. We made pizza better. It's true. That's true. That's true. 
Is this the Daredevil stream? No, this is this is our monthly ranting on the black screen stream. Spaghetti is Chinese truth, but exactly, exactly. Monthly, yeah, about once a month we have this. Or is it once? Is it more than once a month? You say America has no cuisine, but has no accent. I can't think of anything. Oh, I, okay, I can't think of many things that I associate that are just like American cuisine, and it's, that's just like America came from America, like burgers. Like, but I can, I like in America, like they they just grab any everything. Like they're just like whatever we like. Here we go, cheese cheese steak and cornbread. Yeah, I don't know about the history of cornbread though. Is cornbread really American? Apple apple pie is not an no way apple pie is is actually American. Just because the place popularizes something doesn't mean that it's theirs. Awesome. Guess poutine is up for grabs as one of the European cuisines since you guys don't want it. Well, I think poutine is like, is it French or is it French Canadian? So curry is in British. Exactly. That's the problem. Anything good you can eat in Britain was imported. So there's no British dish that is not, not hot flaming garbage. The song literally goes American is apple pie. Because Amer Americans just stole it. You're telling me. That the first time an apple pie was made, it was in America. Um, America is is the genesis of apple pie. No one, no one, like Br British people were fueled by pies, even to this day. You you can't go through a whole entire childhood in Britain without eating at least a million pies. You're not getting to adulthood, okay? That's today. Think of that back the time before, you know, when pies were the only thing you could eat, all right? And you're telling me that, that motherfuckers in Britain never, but you know what? I'm going to put some put some apples in a pie and see what happens. Like, there's no way. British doesn't have apples. Brit British doesn't have apples. Motherfucker, apples are native to NA. And who was the first ones to go there and fucking shipped it back over to fucking Britain to put it in some fucking pies, all right? Apple pie originated in England, allegedly, but U.S. popularized it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I agree with you, so I'm singling out your chat, and I'm, I'm saying it's true. There we go. Your mom. <laughs> American is apple pie takes on a new meaning. Huh? Oh, I really like that. Oh, my God. My head is just pounding right now. Holy shit. Oh, man. I just moved and just, like, just boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. Get some pain pills. I don't like taking pain pills. It's like modding games and downloading, you know, uh, and activating third-party Twitch emotes. Like, why would I? Why would I want to take pills? Oh. But you patched Steins Gate, didn't you? I don't. Did it? Did we patch Steins Gate? I don't think. Oh, we did, didn't we? Did we? Maybe we did. Maybe there's something wrong with Steins Gate. I remember we had to do something for Steins Gate. I don't think it worked if we didn't do that though. Maybe we did. Didn't work out well then, did it? Put the dish course to rest and go drink some water. Do you drink tea? I recently noticed I don't get chronic headaches. I usually do since I stopped drinking it. I drink about maybe one cup of tea a day. I think I have one cup of tea a day. And, you, and lately I've only been having one coffee a day too. Usually I have a tea when I stream. The patches for fixing typos and text layout. Yeah, I remember that now, yeah. Do you have milk to the tea? Yeah, I have so, a little bit of milk. Can you put the music from Deadly Premonition in the back? No, we're about to end. We're about to end. I'm just like building up the courage to stop banana bread started in any cookbooks all right banana bread is all you have and banana bread sucks can you play the pizza music from spider-man 2 no get copyright claimed don't know if you saw the po poll earlier but steins gate beat forspoken for fridays on saturdays now nah, we're, we're gonna finish forspoken we're gonna finish it banana bread is awesome no it's not i don't know banana is pretty mid banana is not not awful it's pretty mid it's a six out of ten fruit six out of ten flavoring like it's fine, okay, Buzz. Well, if you were to eat a, a flavored cake and you could pick the fruit flavoring of the cake—lemon, orange, strawberry, raspberry—these are all above banana. Banana might be fun. Same with ice cream. Who's taking like, oh, banana ice cream, please? Like, no. You take some strawberry ice cream, maybe some so blueberry cake. Blueberry cake's good. Le lemon cake is delicious. What the fuck are you talking about? No, but banana bread goes fucking hard. Okay, I would have to have some banana bread again. It's been a long time since I've had some banana bread. I'm just saying, in general, banana, bananas. I, 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 I love this shit. I, I love when we have a take and suddenly, like, it's, it's the opposite take is just the most amazing thing ever. What's your favorite fruit? Joe, pineapple. I don't eat a lot of fruit, though. I'm not big on fruit. Banana ice cream, banana bread. What about just a normal banana, banana? And I'm talking about a normal banana, banana. It, it's pretty mid. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's not It's not a bad experience, but it's like, it's whatever. You like pineapple pizza? I do not like pineapple pizza, no. 
favorite sandwich bread. Uh, just Wonder Bread that comes in a bag with one of those little pointy tab things that you can hook over. That's pretty good. Huge. Why huge owl? There's nothing wrong with that bread. What's wrong with that bread? It's soft. It gets the job done. I'm not. I'm not big on sandwiches. Disregarding all future Joe food. Oh, what the fuck? It's processed. All bet. All fucking bread is processed. You don't need the fucking bread tree. Go over and just like, yo, time to fucking pick off a loaf, eh? Here I go. Clunk. Like, of course it's fucking processed. It's fucking bread. Joe also doesn't like shrimp. By the way, I don't. I don't like most seafood. That's true. Yeah. I don't really like it. Yeah. And this is why you should do a tier list stream. What? Just the fight with chat for four hours. Pick up some sourdough. I do like sour. I like sourdough. The question was about fucking sandwiches. And when it comes to sandwiches, I like just basic ass fucking bread from a bag. Just pre-sliced. Thick or thin or normal. I don't give a shit. I'm not picky when it comes to the th th thickness of the bread. And then just like that's it. I'm not big on sandwiches. Brown bread or white bread. I don't give a shit. I'll take either. We were on brown bread for years, and then for some reason we switched over switched over to white bread, and now we have that now. I don't know why we switched. Ew, what the fuck? What's wrong with that? Priest, like, you, you motherfuckers are out there. You exclusively, exclusively buy, like, a loaf of bread that hasn't been sliced, and then you slice it yourself. Exclusively. What What is your bread budget? 90%. 90% of your food. I bake my own bread because it's better in every way. Okay, that's great for you, but that's obviously not the standard everyone should be held to, Chatter. I, I, that sounds great. If I had time to do that, I would love to fucking break my own, break, bake my own bread. That sounds like a fun time. I enjoy the smell of baking bread. That sounds great. However, not all of us have prioritized baking our own fucking bread. Pre-sliced bread is more expensive. Pre-sliced bread is not more expensive. What the fuck are you talking about? Maybe baking your own bread is 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 cheaper because you have to put in all the labor to that and everything. That I could accept, but that's now you're paying with time instead of money. And time is money. What do you mean it is? Motherfuckers, I go to the grocery store. I know that it's not. Fucking the pre-sliced fucking bag of Wonder Bread is cheap as shit compared to the like go over to the fucking bakery section where you have to buy the fucking brown bag fucking like not sliced loaf. The gourmet bread section. Lord of the bakery. Like the, that shit is way more expensive than the fucking Wonder Bread fucking pre-sliced shit. What the fuck are you talking about? Is it? Yes, of course it is. We do. We get some. Lily loves that shit. You said Lily's been in the shopping recently. Yeah, like recently is in the last fucking couple months. You know, I have fucking like, oh, I forgot everything about the grocery store that in that long. I'm not that old yet. Check this. Why? So I can get dunked on for some shit. Bread gang. This is you wanted me to see bread gang with the dancing wolf man. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. I saw this above it. Do you remember Joseph Anderson? We used to watch his video game critiques. We'd spend hours listening to him critique popular games like Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, and Fallout 4. Your favorite was the Edith Finch video, wasn't it, Zach? Anyway, do you know why he stopped making videos? He tried to make a critique of the Polish RPG series The Witcher, but his perfectionism got the better of him. And every time he finished the video, he'd delete it and remake it with double the runtime. I hear nowadays he spends most of his time sitting in his basement playing niche Japanese video games <laughs> and yelling incoherently every time he perceives a slight contrivance in the plot. It seems the white wolf became his white whale. <laughs> okay, first of all, plus two. Second of all, there's, there's no perfectionism remaking bullshit. That's fake news, all right? That, that is not the problem whatsoever. All right, but plus two. That was pretty funny, especially the uh, the uh, the slight perceived plot contrivance bit. <sighs> that is a an, an amazingly good AI impression there, or AI recreation. Like holy shit! Give them a marble. No, no, we're not doing this. Every single time there's a, there's a, a good may may, it's give them a marble. No, we be swimming in marbles. There, the, we we drew the line after Maddie. There's no more marbles given out for any fan creation. No, this, that was the line specifically so we could stop situations like this and also to stop people from trying to do like like unpaid work in the hope of exposure slash fucking marble line no the line did not move can i have a marble for being good chat yeah sure why not redeem the marble oh there you go it all worked out all right all right what is it drew carrymore speak and be pinned i agree what is it what is the anime 
Attack on Titan, the final season, part two. You want me to just watch just the end of Attack on Titan with with no context of anything else. Just just the end. All right, all right, I'll take it. All right, there you go. Mark is complete. There you go. Done. <laughs> it's not even the end of it. But it's, it's called the end. The final season. No, that's not the end. The end should be Attack on Titan, the final season, part three, the second part. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Hold on. So there's a final season, part three, part two. Part two of part three. So Attack on Titan, an actual real anime piece of media that, that is a real thing, named their, their series in the same way that I did the Half-Life 2 streams as a joke. Yeah, yeah, okay. The way the Japanese publish is very different from the way the West publishes. Okay, so... Is it a translation thing, or is it just as dumb in Japanese? Mysterious silence. I'm kind of fuming over the, uh, the, the, the bread elitism that's going on in chat. I didn't say that it was the best bread. I didn't say that everyone else has to have that bread. It was just, what's your favorite bread for sandwiches? That's my favorite bread for sandwiches. I prefer a softer bread. I don't like a tough crust when it comes to sandwiches. I don't even really like sandwiches all that much. And now I'm getting dunked on for, for apparently liking basic bread. I know it's basic bread. I bet you use bread it. I don't know what that is, so I don't use it. Sorry. Wrong opinion. Yeah, wrong opinion. Yeah. This is no kidding. The title in a Forbes article, Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 3 Part 2 gets a release date. Nice. Nice. Please try any other bread. I have tried other bread. Do you think I just like decided I like Wonder Bread for sandwiches better than... Okay, first of all, I'm saying Wonder Bread so people know what I'm talking about. It's not actually called Wonder Bread. I think it's I think it's Dempster's Bread. But it's the same kind of... It's the same kind of package of Wonder Bread. It's not literal Wonder Bread. Although I have had literal Wonder Bread. But you know what I mean. It's just, just that's the thing that it is. Um, like, I ha I'm, I'm not like, oh, that's that's all I've had. And like, I'm just judging it on that. No, no, I've had other sandwiches and other, other sandwich bread and I don't like it as much. Do you ever get bread from a bakery? Uh, we did sometimes when I was a kid. I think we got that sometimes, but I never had any of it. I don't think for sure. Or was it my grandmother that did? I don't know. I don't remember there ever being any of the bread. Some of the bread stuff that, that, that Lily likes. Lily has gone to a bakery quite a few times, and we used to go there. For, uh, there's a, a bakery near where, near where we used to live in Toronto. I don't remember ever having any of that kind of bread in the house when I was growing up. So maybe it was a, a family member that did that. Because I remember being really surprised in my late teens that there was, like, more than one type of bread. Like, with the first time I heard someone say pumpernickel, I thought they were fucking with me. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's not a real thing. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, I don't, that, like, that's not, like, that's, that's a joke word, right? Like, that's not a real thing. Like, but, but no, like, like, no, it, it, it's a real bread. Like, that, 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 that sort of thing. Um, yeah. You and food. Seriously. Sorry for having a, a sheltered, borderline abusive childhood when it comes to food. Sorry. How dare I? But yeah, so I, I don't think so. Yeah, we, uh, Lily used to get bread from a bakery all the time. Uh, there's no bakery, bakery near where we live right now. There is like a kind of shitty bakery at the at the grocery store. I think Lily gets some some uh, some bread from there sometimes. She prefers a fancier bread. Uh, but she'll eat the, the, the packaged bread too. I like that kind of bread. Like um, garlic bread is much better made with, with like a, a more artisanal loaf for sure. Garlic bread on on sliced like bread from a bag that's insanity. I guess you could make it work, but like like no, like um a cheese on toast or a grilled cheese can be pretty good for that sort of thing, but it can also be good with a with a with a fancier bread. Um, have you ever been to the Keg Steakhouse? They have a really good uh sourdough that they bring out before while they're making your steak. That's really good. We haven't been there in fucking years, man. We used to like going there. It's a little pricey, but it's pretty good. Um, that's really good bread. Garlic baguette too, yes, pretty good. I bet Mandalore has good bread opinions. So do I. Garlic bread is so good. So true. So true. I love garlic bread. I love garlic bread. Do you like bread pudding? I don't know what that is. What's bread pudding? Maybe I do know what that is. Bread pudding. Bread pudding is a bread-based dessert popular in many countries' cuisines. It is made with stale bread and milk or cream, generally containing eggs, a form of fat such as oil, butter, or suet. And depending on whether the pudding is sweet or savory, a variety of other ingredients. Um, this looks gross as fuck. 
I try it. I don't think I've ever had this. I try it for sure. I try almost anything. I try it. I don't. I've never had this. No. Wrong opinion for thinking that like bread liquefied in other sorts of bread turned into maybe a sweet or savory dish it doesn't sound immediately uh, appetizing. What? Wikipedia says garlic bread was invented in the U.S. Another another U.S. win. Damn. Are you one of those people that eats that cuts away the edge of their pizza? What do you mean cuts away the edge of their pizza? Are you talking about like the crust at the end? Okay, so typically when I'm eating a pizza, I will not eat the crust at the end. However, that is only because of calorie issues. All right, like if the if the crust is pretty good, I'll eat it. Like it's tasty, I don't mind it. But I prefer the topping part. So if I'm gonna if I'm like eating pizza, right? then I could eat more of the topping part that I like instead of eating the crust, which is fine. It's tasty. It's whatever. It's just, you know, like, why would I consume more calories of, of a part of the pizza that is that I don't prefer to the other part, okay? Like, but depending on it, sometimes the crust can be really good. It's it's pretty rare, but um, like basic pizza, like Domino's pizza, sometimes the crust on that is actually pretty tasty. It's really, it's, 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 it's cooked well. Other times it can be burnt the fuck. Um, so it depends. It depends on, on what it is. What about stuffed crust pizza? I have never had a stuffed crust that, that tasted good. I'm sure it, c it can exist, but every single time that I've had stuffed crust pizza, the the cheese that's in the stuffed crust is like fucking like not cooked properly. It's kind of like, it's chewy. It's not melted at all. It's kind of like, I don't know what the fuck is going on in there. It's like, it's like rubber in there. It's not good. If it was good, I'm sure it'd be tasty as hell tasty as hell i'm sure i'm sure there is a way to do it and if it's cooked properly i'm sure it's great but i have never had one that's cheese string. yeah that's perfect retinas yeah it, it's like a cheese string it's gross but you said not licking the yogurt lid is wasting food. that's more of the good stuff it's all yogurt what do you mean that's it's all it's all the same why would you not lick the yogurt lid okay hold on hold on i need to be really specific because maybe yogurt lids are different okay when i say licking the yogurt lid all right first of all I'm not big on yogurt. I don't even remember the last time I had a yogurt or a pudding or whatever. But when I'm talking about licking the yogurt lid, in my mind, you are opening like a foil top or something or a plastic top of, of an individual size yogurt or pudding, taking that off and then licking the top of that, that that has been in contact with it. What I'm not talking about is opening a plastic fucking container of communal yogurt or pudding and being like, oh yeah, that's for me, and licking the top of the fucking plastic reusable lid that I'm going to be putting back on the communal container and then back in the fridge. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the, the individual serving. Like, why the fuck wouldn't you do that? Who would do that? I'm sure there's people in chat that do that. Joe, the yogurt is in a carton and you pour it. Balder, there are different there are different serving sizes of yogurt in places that are not Finland, apparently. There are, there are personal sizes fucking servings of yogurt. When I was a kid, there was like uh what the fuck was it? Mr. Mr. Men yogurt? Mr. 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 Man. Mr. Men yogurt. Was that a thing? In the UK? L little little serving sizes of, of fucking like uh of, of yogurt that you could give to a, a kid. Yogurt comes in plastic bags here. Ever have that? No, I've never seen yogurt come in a plastic bag. We have milk that comes in plastic bags, and I don't like it. Like it's fine, but I'm not a big fan. I prefer a carton of milk. Check Jad. Why oh, would check in Jad's again? Made you look. <sighs> Mr. Men look. Okay, this does not look like it. Maybe it was something else then. There was like little tiny little. I think it was strawberry. Maybe they have a different packaging. Mr. Men yogurt, 1988 or something. No, I'd be yeah, 1989. Do 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 do. The joke is the chatter is banned from Jad. Oh yeah, I should. Ah uh, man. Man, I should have known. I should have known. Oh, it's poop, poop feast four twenty, and you're laughing at something. God, glad to see you're in a better mood. That you're not a, a grumpy goose anymore. Why did I say it was gay? I had these books. What, what, and what, what the fuck are you talking about? You didn't know what these were. You forgot about Mister Men. How did you forget about Mister Men? I'm sorry, I forgot about Mister Brown. Small Andy would be so offended. Anu. And do you know about, do you remember Button Moon? Are you Button Moon pilled? Do you remember that show? 
every so often I remember Button Moon and like and then the little Super Ted books and my mind is just completely blown about all the things I used to enjoy as a kid that I don't that I forgot about for like over 10 years you remember Button Moon oh man Button Moon was so good why do you say it with a hard butt I don't everything I do is with a hard butt Button moon. What does that, how is that a hard butt? What's a soft butt? Button. Like that? Button moon looks hard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look, look, look at the rocket ship that is clearly just made out of Heinz beans can. <laughs> like, not even trying to hide it. It became the emblem of, of, the, of the ship. Oh, man. You made that up just now. I did not. I did not. I did not make that up. I feel so old. I mean, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. See you tomorrow, chat. I'll install the uh, the four gigabyte patch. You know, people said who install it kind of misled me into thinking it was going to be a patch for the game. Instead, it's not. It's not a patch at all. It's it's a fucking extension program. The patch is misnomer here. Misused. It's not a patch. 20 gig of it's not it's not even it's not a patch at all it is we mean it is a patch is something that updates the game and changes the files in it in a in a permanent way the game is patched this is not this is just like running it in a different way that gives it access to more dedicated wham like it has nothing to do with with patching the game it's a pa it's not a patcher is it a patcher you don't have to keep running it. I was told that I had to double click it and launch the game with this. Is that wrong? It's just a one time thing. So I, I, I double click it. I click on the thing that I wanted to do it. And then it just, and then it's just, I do it once and that's it. And then I just launch it from the usual DP EXE. Oh, okay. The way people in chat were describing it earlier was that I had to like launch it from this. Oh, okay. Then it is, it is a patch then. Okay. All right. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I'm eating so many words. Just like I like to eat my pre-sliced bread. Common chat W. Fuck you. Fuck you. Rare chat W. There you go. There you go. That's better. That's better. See you later, chat.